Chapter 2801 Opportunity Lies Up Ahead Big Sister Meng Chi, where are we? Cloud looked at the mountain gate ahead of her and clenched Meng Qi's hand. Just this gate alone gave off terrifying spiritual fluctuations. It was like a heavenly wall blocking all life outside. Meng Chi nodded. According to that senior, the soul dream immortal venerates inheritance is here and we can get stronger by cultivating here. I no longer want to see Long Chen bleed and cry. Next time, I'll be the one protecting him. After that, Cloud returned to Men Qi's spiritual space, and Men Qi staunchly walked toward the mountain gate. Disciple Tang Wan'er greets Master. Tang Wan'er properly kowtowed toward a beautiful woman who looked as if she had walked right out of a painting. She was surrounded by swirling immortal chi. That woman pulled Tang Wan'er up and nodded approvingly. Starting today, you are the final disciple of the one known as Feng Xinayu. Remember, starting today, it is no longer permitted for anyone to bully you, or it would be a loss of your master's face. If you can't beat someone, you can find your senior apprentice brothers and sisters. If they also can't beat them, you can come find me. In a land of white snow and black ice, two women stared at each other. Both of them wore clothes as white as snow, and they were peerlessly beautiful. However, they were both completely expressionless, like two statues of ice goddesses. One of them was Yi's Hikyu, the other was an equally icy woman looking to be in her thirties. The two of them stared at each other within the ice and snow. They were silent for a full two hours, neither of them moving. Finally, it was that woman who said, Are you willing to be my disciple? Her voice was completely emotionless. Furthermore, it sounded a bit off, as if she hadn't spoken in so long that she had forgotten how to. I am willing. Yis Hikiu nodded. Let's go. The woman turned and walked away. Yis Hikiu then silently followed behind her, both of them not saying another word. Just like that, they vanished into the world of ice and snow. Ziaokian, you have strong karma tying you to the nine star air. You must work hard if you wish to help him. We have managed to preserve our complete inheritance along with the strongest divine abilities of the original devil race here. This is the best place for you to cultivate in a divine palace. An old crone holding a cane was speaking to you Ziaokian. In front of her was a mountain-sized pile of bone books, and divine light flowed from them. Countless techniques of the original devil race were recorded within. Yu Ziaokian ended up in the original Devil Race's ancestral land upon being sent to the immortal world. After that, she was shocked to find the original Devil Race's complete inheritance. Long Chen, I'll go all out cultivating. I won't let you bleed or cry again. Yu Ziaokian bit her lip and swore inside Novaloon.com. Yu Ziaokian had never expected someone like Long Chen to howl and weep like he had. His shoulders had held up the heavens but that didn't stop the ones he cared about from dying. Seeing him in that state had cut her heart. Now that she had a chance to get stronger, she didn't waste a single second. She would not permit such a thing to repeat itself. Shia Chen, bring the line drawing liquid. Shia Chen, there's not enough magic adherence hides here. Shia Chen, what are you doing? You're so slow. Hurry up. Shia Chen was covered in sweat. He hastily brought over the things that those people were requesting. Little fellow, let me tell you, I only let you become a worker here because I pity you. I'm taking the risk of being scolded for this. Thus, you have to be clever. Treat these people well. These are future respected formation masters. We can't offend them. Although our work is tiring, we still get paid a lot. Cherish this chance, murmured a somewhat fat disciple beside Shia Chen. Yes. Yes, I understand. Thank you, big brother. I won't cause you any trouble, said Shia Chen hastily. Future formation masters? Bullshit. He was capable of using his feet to draw better formations than them. If the spirit rune pavilion didn't need a fee to enter, would he need to bend to them? It was said that this spirit rune pavilion was a first-rate college even in the entire immortal world. However, due to some management problems, it had declined but it still had several supreme treasures, existences that could be considered immortal canons in the formation world. So even if there were problems with management, countless people still came here for those immortal canons. Shia Chen was working like a dog here as he researched the materials and techniques of this place. After all, 
This was the immortal world, and their study of the immortal Deo's runes was incredibly profound. The martial heaven continent's formations were like a cup of water compared to a giant sea here. However, Xia Chen was the most outstanding formation master of the martial heaven continent. Compared to these newly entered disciples, his fundamentals were a hundred times better. These divine runes were instantly memorized with just one look from Xia Chen. While these disciples could spend half a day to remember part of it, only for a distraction to cause them to completely forget it. In their anger, they would vent at Xia Chen and the other workers. Even these pigs can learn formations? Just wait, you'll only have this one chance to shout at me. He, let's switch places. Xia Chen looked at those irritable disciples and a faint smile appeared on his face. Back to the mountain. Long Chen was filled with gratitude to learn that the dragon expert had sent everyone to their own opportunities. This battle of the martial heaven continent had been a huge blow to him. He hadn't managed to protect the continent, and it had been ultimately destroyed. The hopes of the five sovereigns were let down. If it weren't for the dragon expert, he would have been destroyed along with the martial heaven continent. In his hands, everything had been smashed apart. Thinking of how he had promised the five sovereigns, he was filled with guilt. Long Chen, you have to work hard. Don't think that being a nine-star heir is so great. Those brothers of yours are like seeds who will sprout after this experience. If you don't work hard, it really will fall to them to protect you. In the past, nine-star heirs were all solitary figures without a single friend. But you're different. Perhaps it's because of this that I took the risk of saving you. I want to gamble and a portion of those chips are placed on you. I hope that you can grow up a bit faster. Perhaps you will be able to help me at that time. But the current you is too weak. Don't be defeated by this failure. Recover and find your confidence again. Return to the fearless you, said the dragon expert. Senior, don't worry. It can be said that I have been reborn today. In the immortal world, I will create my own slice of heaven and earth. I won't allow the disaster of the martial heaven continent to repeat itself. Long Chen clenched his fists. Good. Then your chance has come. It's just up to you if you can grasp it, said the dragon expert. Chapter 2802 High Firmament Academy What opportunity asked Long Chen? This is the High Firmament Academy. It is the academy with the deepest foundation within the hundred domains and thousand prefectures. Although it has declined. It will be of immense help to you. If you want to stand out within the immortal world, this is the best stepping stone. There are also records of nine star heirs in the academy. If you want to understand yourself, that will be a good start. I sent you here because I feel like the High Firmament Academy is best suited to you. However, no one can change the fate of a nine star heir. You are the only one who can decide what to do. In the end, you'll have to rely on yourself said the dragon expert. Since Senior thinks that this is the best place for me, I'll muddle around here for a while. However, Senior can you help me see where my friends from the Martial Heaven continent are? Long Chen knew that this expert had saved him and also the others, but he still wasn't completely at ease when it came to his father, his mother, his little sister, and the others that had helped him. No problem. Close your eyes. I will share my sight with you. After Long Chen closed his eyes, stars appeared in his vision. They were like grains of sand in his view, startling him. Looking up, he saw larger clusters of stars. There were nine of them in total, and below each cluster was a giant star. These giant stars were even bigger than the nine clusters. Long Chen wanted to keep looking when the dragon expert's voice rang out in his mind. Don't look around randomly. Do not invoke karma for nothing. Long Chen's vision then passed through countless stars. It was like he was walking the corridor of space time, and he quickly arrived at one particular star. This star was constantly growing. At the same time, he saw broken stars lying all around. They were closer, so he could see the scars of battle. Some were fractured and floating within the starry sky. Everything he saw was ruined, and countless stars were broken. Some battlefields still had blood staining them. He also saw some faint chains at the bottom of these stars. They were translucent, almost like spider webs. He didn't know where they stretched off to. In this tribulation, the Martial Heaven continent was just one battlefield. So it's a far greater plot. 
Seeing those broken stars infuriated Long Chen. Just what had caused enough hatred for someone to indiscriminately slaughter innocent lives? Was there such a thing as justice in this world? Don't look back. Long Chen followed those lines. It felt as if those threads led back to right behind him. But when he wanted to turn back, the dragon expert stopped him. Some things are not for the current you to touch. That will only expose you more quickly, chided the dragon expert sternly. Junior understands, said Long Chen. You've already awakened the purgatory eyes. Once they are activated, it will also activate the specific hegemon chi of the nine star heirs. That is the other entirely different power of the nine star line other than their astral power. It can be considered a condensation of all negative emotions within this world. This power far surpasses your astral power. But once it is used, you will lose all reasoning and become a berserk devil. That is why you were so crazy when you activated your purgatory eyes that you directly chased the source all the way to Lord Brahma's image. You were a fool who only wanted to kill without thinking about the consequences. There is simply no way to describe the difference between the two of you with words. That purgatory power will ignite the suppressed emotions in your heart, and you will become so crazy that you won't even recognize your friends. You will only kill. The nine underworld hunters are very sensitive to this aura. They have special tools for tracking this aura down. So I've temporarily sealed your purgatory eyes. They won't activate again for at least a short time. The image of the pill fairy dying in front of him suddenly hit him with full force. His grief and fury had devoured him in an instant. After that, everything went dark. By the time he came back to his senses, he thought that he was already dead. He didn't recall anything about the time the purgatory eyes activated. He didn't even know what kind of power that was. It was like it hadn't happened. There was a time in hell when your life was in danger. Your purgatory eyes might have been activated by how deep within hell you were. It was Evil Moon who knocked you unconscious and stopped the purgatory eyes from consuming you. Evil Moon didn't know what your purgatory eyes were, but as a member of the Dark Race, it was far more sensitive toward that sinister and domineering power. It did this because it didn't want you to be the same as it. A solitary killer. It had been changed by you and liked your life. Your world. Said the dragon expert. Another wave of grief washed over Long Chen. The companion that he had depended on all this time had also left him. The dragon expert continued. However. The purgatory eyes are actually the dark side of your inner heart. The more you suppress it the more you feed it. That is also why the seal is simply temporary. This kind of power cannot be stopped for too long. If too long passes, it will be completely uncontrollable. This is why all members of the Nine Star Line are solitary existences. But you are a strange variant of the Nine Star Heirs. As for how you overcome the Nine Star Hegemon body art, it will be up to you. Long Chen nodded inside. No one could help him with such a thing. He could only rely on himself. Suddenly, a certain star appeared within his eyes. This was a star filled with life. And there were no chains connected to this star. This is a pure land that has escaped the battle. Their lives are all good here. Long Chen saw the martial heaven continents people in this world. They were exploring the new world. Although there were no indigenous people here, there were many fierce beasts. Hence, they had to gather all their power to fight the fierce beasts. Long Chen then saw people begin excavating ores and refining weapons to fight their enemies. After that, he quickly saw his father and mother. He also saw Xiaoyu. Upon seeing that they were safe, his heart was finally at ease. As for the center of where they were gathered, they had built a giant plaza. The center of this plaza had a giant statue erected with countless people constantly kowtowing to it. This statue was him. Chapter 2803 Long Chen's Oath If you wish to, you can leave a strand of your divine will on this statue. It will then become a seed to gather faith energy and will definitely help you in the future, said the dragon expert. Long Chen shook his head. They kowtow to me due to gratitude. But if I were to leave a seed of my divine will, it would become a kind of deceit. I disdain doing such a thing. Upon ascending to the immortal world, Long Chen seemed to understand many things that he hadn't before. He gained a deeper understanding of the god inheritances left in the lower plane. When it came to accepting these people's worship, he didn't feel anything wrong with it. 
He knew that they weren't just kowtowing to him but also kowtowing to the five sovereigns, to big brother Yan Tian, to senior Ling Yanzi, the old man, Hu Jinying, and the other countless heroes who had sacrificed themselves. This statue stood as a testament to their heroism. It was for them to recall just how painful that battle was and to make them cherish their current peace. Perhaps a long time from now, when they had gotten used to peace, they would forget this pain, forget this history. When the memories grew faint, people would question the history and turn it into a story. They would then overthrow this history, just like those people who had questioned the existence of the sovereigns. After the scab fell and the pain was forgotten, people would forget the heroes. But while that scab was still there, Long Chen was sure that they would remember what respect and gratitude were. After such a fierce battle, he was confident that the people of the Martial Heaven continent wouldn't be fighting amongst themselves, at least for a short time. With those memories and the threat of the fierce beasts outside, they would cherish their current life. Furthermore, he saw that everyone felt great respect for his parents and sister. Their safety was something he didn't need to worry about. Suddenly, the vision faded and Long Chen slowly opened his eyes. His soul returned to home, to reality. For a moment, Long Chen was lost in his emotions. Other than his father and mother, he also saw many familiar faces. There was Xia Yaoluo, Xia Yankong, O Yankiuayu, Xu Wuhan. He even saw Xiao Hua from back then amongst the crowd. However, it was just a glance. He didn't even have a chance to get a closer look before his vision ended. Senior, I really have to thank you. In the future, no matter what you need, I will definitely repay you for this great favor, swore Long Chen. This favor was truly huge. The current you is still too weak. If you want to repay me, work hard to survive. Stop doing things that will get you killed. Then you might have a chance to help me. The dragon expert sighed. All nine star heirs were like that. Junior will follow your instructions, said Long Chen. Speaking of which, Senior, do you know where my biological father and mother are? Now that Long Chen was in the immortal world, the pressing thing was to find his biological parents' whereabouts. Your father and mother are still alive, so don't worry about that. But their lives aren't going as they wish. In your current state, knowing where they are is meaningless. You are too weak and you can't help anyone. You should focus on yourself. Other than that, don't try to find that person who keeps sending you messages. His situation is even worse, and he can't help you. The owner of that voice wanted you to awaken, but due to multiple reasons, it has always ended in failure. In the end, that girl still used her own life to make you awaken, said the dragon expert. Senior, you must know about King Suen's reincarnation. Can you tell me where she is? Asked Long Chen. She went through a thousand reincarnations to awaken you. Your fates are tightly bound. Even if you don't search for her, she will appear before you. However, after accomplishing the mission behind her reincarnations, the power of that reincarnation will dissipate. She will no longer have those memories. That is why she was very afraid. She was afraid of her next reincarnation marrying someone else. The love of a thousand reincarnations would vanish just like that. Even the dragon expert sighed here. It was also affected by the pill fairy's deep emotions. Hearing that he would sooner or later run into Yu Kingsuan and that his parents were also still alive, Long Chen felt much steadier. He also grew more confident. I'll have to make sure to live happily starting today. That's the only way to live up to their sacrifices. Long Chen took a deep breath and clenched his fists. So many people had died in that battle. Their lives, their hopes were now with him. So he couldn't wallow in this failure. He had to live even better and cultivate even harder for them. Long Chen slowly formed hand seals. But he quickly sighed. As expected, in the immortal world, the martial heaven continent's magical arts were useless. The spiritual chi of the martial heaven continent was a completely different concept from the immortal spiritual energy of this place. Here. He was like someone who didn't even know cultivation. Originally, Long Chen had been planning on finding Long Aotian's location after coming to the immortal world. The black soil pill that Long Aotian had swallowed not only caused him immense pain, but it also left a brand of the black soil's aura on him. That was why Long Chen let him off. 
it was to find where he went afterward and conveniently come clean them up as well, while also getting a step in the direction of finding his parents. The aura of the immortal world was completely different from the martial heaven continent, so Long Chen would have to learn how to control this immortal spiritual chi first. No matter how big the immortal world was, as long as he kept sensing, he would sooner or later find in which direction the brand was, then he would be able to find Long A Ocean. All right, it seems that you've regained your confidence. Good, I'll leave now. Be careful. Remember, nine star heirs cannot see the light of day. Once you are exposed, you will find countless people hunting you down. Your purgatory eyes might have been temporarily sealed, and you've also changed your nine stars so they're no longer completely the same, but it would be best if you didn't expose it much. The High Firmament Academy has countless ancient tomes and immortal arts. It is the oldest academy within the hundred domains and thousand prefectures. I don't need to tell you what to do, right? Said the dragon expert. Yes, it would be best if I can find some cultivation techniques that look similar to the nine star hegemon body art to mask it. Long Chen nodded. There was no way he could avoid fighting in the immortal world. If he couldn't use his divine ring or battle armor, he would be killed. Thus, the best method was to find other cultivation techniques and skills that would cover his skills up, making people think that they looked similar but weren't the same. It's good that you understand. The path is beneath your feet. The rest is up to you. After saying that, the dragon expert's aura vanished. Ah, senior, you forgot to tell me where Zi Yan went, exclaimed Long Chen suddenly. Regretfully, the dragon expert's aura had already vanished. It didn't reply. Fine. If everyone else was set up, I suppose Zi Yan wouldn't be left behind. Senior must have some reason for not telling me. Brothers, just wait for me. The name of Master Long San will resound through the immortal world. Long Chen looked to the sun and swore his oath. He then turned around and walked back toward the long line. Chapter 2804 Stripped of Qualifications Oh, isn't that the fellow who cried when he failed? Why is he back? He's smiling and looks confident? Did he really go crazy? Who knows? There are always a few people like that with every test. I'm used to it, said someone disdainfully. It seemed that this speaker didn't realize that his words were telling everyone that he had failed many times. The line was incredibly long. On the Martial Heaven continent, he would arrive at the end of the continent with a single step. But here, it took him an hour of walking. When his pace was fast, he began to pant slightly. His chest hurt, forcing him to slow down. He had just ascended to the immortal world, so his mortal aura had yet to transform. Absorbing too much immortal spiritual chi at once would hurt. However, he quickly saw a large tablet up ahead. It was a jade tablet around 10 meters tall, and light flowed on top of it. He then pressed his hand against this tablet. This was the jade tablet for the High Firmament Academy's disciple recruitment. Just by pressing a hand against it, one would obtain all the information needed. When Long Chen had asked someone about how to register, that person had told him of the Jade Tablet's existence. When his hand pressed against it, a large amount of information flooded into his head. Countless characters also branded themselves in his mind. They're actually immortal characters, and they're teaching us these for free. Long Chen was startled. On the Martial Heaven continent, such a spiritual inheritance cost quite a bit of energy to maintain, so only important inheritances were transmitted this way. Such an inheritance cost a fortune for ordinary sects. However, here, it was like it was free. Not only did he get the information he needed, but the basic immortal runes were also part of this inheritance. There was actually quite a large difference between these immortal characters and the immortal characters known on the Martial Heaven continent. Since every immortal character possessed some of the charms of the immortal Tao, upon knowing such a large number of immortal characters, Long Chen even felt his body get more used to the surrounding immortal spiritual chi. It was magical. However, these immortal characters were all basic, which was why they were free. They only taught a bit about the High Firmament Academy's history, foundation, inheritance, and rules. This general information was very detailed only when it came to the registration process for disciples. This place held trials once every 30 years, 
and anyone under 300 years and whose cultivation base had reached the peak of mortal transcendence could participate. Long Chen didn't know what this mortal transcendence realm was exactly, but seeing that most of the people in line were at the 13th vestige of heaven merging, he supposed that the heaven merging realm of the martial heaven continent was equivalent to the mortal transcendence realm here, going from mortal to immortal, ascending to a higher plane, that should be the case. The immortal spiritual chi here is probably enough to directly blow apart a nether passage expert, thought Long Chen. Age of 300 years as a cutoff for disciple recruitment was unheard of on the martial heaven continent, but here in the immortal world, it seemed to be normal. Of course, on the martial heaven continent, the heaven merging realm was the absolute apex. Here, it was only the minimum requirement for the trial, that was only natural. The trials of the High Firmament Academy included dozens of examinations, some for certain levels and some more for specific specialties. It was only after going through all these examinations could one qualify to become a disciple of the High Firmament Academy. It could be said that the disciple selection was very strict. Long Chen looked back at the endless line and the slow rate of advancement, and he got nervous inside. It seemed that the waiting would be a bit long. Excuse me. Pretty lady, may I ask how long you've been waiting here? Asked Long Chen to a gentle-looking woman in line. Perhaps it was because his tongue was sweet that she happily replied, I've been in line for three months. I estimate that it'll be my turn around half a month from now. Little brother, you're an ascender from the lower world, right? You probably don't have any immortal crystals. Do you want big sister to lend you some? You can register that way. This woman was quite kind. Long Chen's heavy mortal air showed her that he probably wasn't born in the immortal world. Those who ascended from the lower world were particularly poor because the things that they brought with them were all worthless here. Seeing his shabby and broken robes, the woman couldn't help feeling pity for Long Chen. Hearing the woman's words, quite a few people side-eyed Long Chen. It had to be known that the fee for this trial was not cheap. This woman was actually willing to lend him such a large sum. Many thanks. Big sister, I am just curious though, I'm still not sure if I'm going to participate in these trials, said Long Chen gratefully, there's no need for you to participate, it's not like you can pass, don't waste those immortal crystals, sneered someone, it was unknown if this person was just jealous or if he fundamentally looked down on ascenders, but he seemed to truly dislike Long Chen, you, the woman's expression sank slightly. For her to be willing to help Long Chen was a matter between the two of them. Hence, for someone to interject themselves into her matters angered her. Big sister, it's all right. For you to quibble with trash like this is a loss of your status. Long Chen waved it off. He had seen far too many idiots like this to bother with them. The wait time of three and a half months was too long, and he didn't have that much time to waste. He was thinking of another way to directly enter the academy. Who are you calling trash? You lower world degenerate cursed that person angrily. Long Chen instinctively, without any hesitation, slapped that guy in the face. As a result, half of that guy's face exploded and blood splashed. He then tumbled back, half his teeth flying through the air. The surrounding people jumped. Long Chen looked worn down and weak, but he was quite vicious. The immortal world's people really are different. I was actually worried I would kill him. Long Chen himself jumped. This slap was instinctual, so he only reacted enough to pull back half the force. Despite that, its power was astonishing enough to explode half of this guy's face. Fortunately, his skull was intact. This fact showed Long Chen that those of the immortal world truly had tough physical bodies. You, that person furiously shot up. However, before he could charge at Long Chen, he once more spun and fell. Coughing up a mouthful of blood, Long Chen's slap had caused internal injuries to him. As soon as he tried to use his power, a rush of blood came over him, almost knocking him unconscious. Who is making a ruckus here? At this time, two disciples of the High Firmament Academy in silver armor walked over. Upon seeing them, Long Chen's heart shook. These two possessed powerful auras, not at all inferior to that middle-aged nine underworld hunter. Just the disciples guarding the gate were already so powerful. The High Firmament Academy was truly strong. I was asking some questions. After that, 
He cursed me and I slapped him. Long Chen shrugged and reported what had happened. The disciple who had spoken frowned slightly, looking from Long Chen to the other man. After that, he coldly said, Both of you are stripped of your qualifications to attend the trials. That's not fair. Howled that person furiously. Chapter 2805 Dirty Tricks It really is unfair. He was clearly the one picking a fight. This junior brother is innocent. You shouldn't strip him of his right to participate. The woman spoke up for Long Chen's innocence. On the other hand, Long Chen shrugged. No, I feel like this is correct. Without rules, there is no order. Your way of handling this matter is fair, right, just, effective, and precise. He, in any case, I wasn't planning on participating. Long Chen turned and left, leaving the other person dumbfounded. Long Chen might not mind, but this guy had been in line for three months. He had passed through many checkpoints to have this chance for a great future. So how could he end up buried here? Big brother, I am Pan Mingxiang. You don't know me, but you definitely know my big brother. He is Pan Mingdiang, a core disciple. He cried out. The academy's disciples were also split into different tiers. Probationary disciples, outer disciples, inner disciples, and core disciples. These people here were only in line for a chance to be probationary disciples. As for core disciples, they were elites picked out from millions and millions of geniuses. Their position was very high. This Pan Mingxiang only felt superior to the others in line because of the existence of his big brother in the academy. Because of it, he had ended up acting quite disdainful to others in line during this time, causing them to dislike him. However, it was forbidden to make a fuss in line. Or, as seen here, they would lose their right to participate. Thus, no one had bothered with him. Unfortunately for him, he had ended up provoking Long Chen. Not only was he slapped in the face, but his qualifications were also stripped away. Hence, he hastily reported the name of his big brother. Pan Mingdiang, the one ranked 47th on the rankings, asked the disciple, looking Pan Mingxiang up and down. Yes, yes, that's him cried out Pan Mingxiang, ecstatic to hear that this disciple really knew of his brother. And, asked the disciple, and what asked Pan Mingxiang, what does that have to do with you being stripped of your qualifications asked the disciple indifferently. You, Pan Mingxiang's dumbfounded expression almost caused people to laugh. Rules are rules, that little one said it well. Without rules, there is no order. He is nothing more than an ascender from a lower world who doesn't even know how great the name of the High Firmament Academy is. Are you telling me that you are inferior to him? Do you think the rules of the High Firmament Academy will be bent for a single disciple on the mortal rankings? You really are naive. I can't be bothered to say anything more to you. Hurry up and scram, sneered the disciple. Fine. Pan Mingxian clenched his teeth and furiously walked away. However. He seemed rather fearless. It looked as if he was planning on getting revenge. How satisfying. I had to deal with Pan Mingdiang's arrogance in the academy before, and now I finally get to vent, laughed the disciple to his companion. It's too bad that he didn't resist. Otherwise, you would have been in the clear to give him a beating, said his companion. He's probably leaving to use some of his connections. But even if I can't drive him away, I can make him get in line again. How delightful. Ha ha ha. Those two disciples left while laughing, leaving the ones in line with strange expressions. Long Chen was unaware of what happened afterward as he had headed to a different line. Other than the giant line, there was another line not far from it. But this line only had a few people. That was the line for the workers. The High Firmament Academy had many disciples, and those disciples needed a large amount of manpower to look after. The lowest level matters required a large number of workers. However, even for the workers, the requirements were quite high. There was a 90% rate of washing out. Long Chen saw many people shaking their heads and leaving this place when he arrived. In front of Long Chen was an interviewer who expressionlessly looked at him. Sensing Long Chen's mortal aura, the interviewer frowned. How old are you? I've forgotten, said Long Chen. Are you dumb? You don't even remember your own age. Whatever, there's a bone age tester right there. Go test yourself, said the interviewer. His initial reaction was anger, but that anger was stifled by a single look from Long Chen. 
In that instant, he almost jumped out of his skin. He felt like he could see endless corpses and seas of blood within Long Chen's eyes. That terror caused him to change his tone. Many thanks. Long Chen walked over, warning himself not to get angry. Ever since the purgatory eyes awakened, he felt that his control over himself had worsened. He had just slapped Pan Mingxiang, and now being scolded caused his anger to surge. He almost punched the interviewer in the face. Long Chen didn't know if this was due to the purgatory eyes, but he almost had an urge to kill him just like that. Fortunately, this fellow was smart enough not to make things harder on him, or if he lost control, let alone joining the High Firmament Academy, he would probably be hunted down by the Academy and killed. Bone Age 31 Long Chen was startled. It seemed that this Bone Age was a few years younger than on the Martial Heaven continent? Was the time of a year different in the immortal world? Long Chen quickly passed through some more examinations, following the line. However, all of a sudden, his stomach began to rumble. After arriving at the immortal world, his body felt odd. Now his stomach was heaving, so he hastily asked where the toilet was. He rushed over there, barely making it before the floodgates were opened. After that, an overwhelming stench almost made him faint. Why is it so smelly? Long Chen quickly realized that this was the mortal transcendence realm. The goal was to force out the mortal aura within the body, when it had nowhere else to go. This mortal aura was expelled in this fashion. However, ever since he had reached the Xianchen realm, he had never had to go to the toilet. He wasn't used to it. After resolving his predicament, the refreshed Long Chen walked back out. However, just as he was about to turn a corner, he paused. He heard two people talking. There are only two more openings for workers. Third brother son wants one spot. So I'm leaving the other one to you. Get as much as you can out of it, whispered one of them. I understand. The other's voice came out raspy, as if his throat was being choked by the other. Long Chen was startled. There were over 80 people going through the examinations right now, but there were only two spots left, with one being reserved. As for the other, it was given to whoever could bribe them the most? This place was surprisingly corrupt. The two of them vanished after talking. However, Long Chen was sure one of them was a core examiner. After that, Long Chen joined the line once more, and it quickly reached his turn. His examiner was a square-faced middle-aged man. Without even looking at Long Chen, he directly asked, Name, it was the raspy voice man. Hence, Long Chen instantly understood. Just now, the person who had been accepted was the one whose spot was reserved. Now there was only one spot left. Long Chen. Long Chen's eyes roved around, and he spotted a certain thing on the table that made him smile slightly. That person finally looked at Long Chen. Seeing Long Chen's shabby clothes, he didn't bother concealing his disdain and impatience. I've looked through your qualifications. You're too old. He directly rejected Long Chen. Too old? Was he sure that he wasn't blind? The other person who had just passed was in his 80s. Long Chen almost laughed. All right. Long Chen nodded and turned to leave. But as he turned, his sleeve accidentally knocked over an elegant teapot on the table. Careful, the examiner shouted. But the teapot and a few cups shattered. He furiously shouted. You're paying for that. I don't have any money. Could you deduct it from my salary? Asked Long Chen helplessly. Chapter 2806 Heaven Defyingly Difficult Exam Just Like That Long Chen became a probationary worker and received his status plate hung on his waist. The new workers had three days to learn their duties and rights. With Long Chen's powerful spiritual strength, he memorized everything in just an hour. Normally, every new worker was given nine immortal crystals as a benefit, and it could be considered a gift to the newcomers. But Long Chen didn't receive them because they were deducted from his salary. Long Chen's vision was quite good to see that the teapot was not bad, resulting in him successfully entering. Workers were only able to do some unskilled labor within the academy. Furthermore, their range was very limited. After understanding the basics, Long Chen quickly found his opportunity. The workers here had a chance to take an exam to advance every five years. After passing this exam, they could obtain an even higher worker status and would then be qualified to participate in the disciple trials. If they made any outstanding achievements, 
they could become official disciples of the academy. He, the chance has come. Long Chen found where the examination was and walked in. Over ten people immediately shot up and stared at him nervously. He was confused at first but quickly realized that his robes were different from their worker clothes. Based on their nervous expressions, they probably thought that he was the examiner. Sit, sit. No need to be nervous. Long Chen waved his hand. Those people instantly sat, but their nerves were as tense as ever. Long Chen said, I'm not the main examiner but the assistant examiner. The main examiner suddenly had something coming up and told me to tell you that today's examination is temporarily cancelled. The exam can be made up next time. We will inform everyone of the details later. Those people instantly relaxed. After that, they bowed to Long Chen and walked out. Once they were gone, Long Chen immediately sat in their place. Less than an incense stick's worth of time later, a slightly chubby middle-aged man walked in. Seeing that there was only one person present, he was confused. Why is it just you? I don't know either. Long Chen shook his head. The examiner looked around and then said, Since it's just you, let's get right to it. I'm sure you were told the rules in advance. Yes. Long Chen nodded. Even though he didn't actually know them, it didn't matter. Good. You're smart. Unlike those fools who are short-sighted. Although you lose out on 10 years of salary, you'll get a chance to become a true disciple. This chance can allow you to soar high and far. And this chance is just around the corner for you. Little fellow, I look favorably upon you. Praised the examiner. At this moment, Long Chen realized why those people who had left looked as if they were relieved of a heavy burden. It seemed that this entire exam was a con. Ten years of salary? In other words, just for this single chance, they would need to work for free for ten years. It went without saying that these ten years of salary would enter this fatty's pocket. These workers were already old and their talent was only average. What kind of joke was that? If their talent really was good, who would be a worker? Without any talent, how could they pass the trials and become a disciple? It was a giant joke. The guilt he had felt due to tricking those people vanished. Now it seemed that he had saved them. Presumably, those people were forced to take this exam whether they wanted to or not. Those that this fatty set his gaze on were all unlucky. Once they became the higher level workers, 10 years of their salary would enter his pocket. It was no wonder he was so fat. He was a master of eating other people's profit. Long Chen didn't know how many years it had been since he had encountered this kind of dark battle at the bottom class. Upon looking at this, it seemed that these battles were even more sinister and shameless than the battles of the cultivation world. He, exactly, their vision is short, and they don't understand the importance of opportunities. Those are things that money can't buy, chortled Long Chen. That's right, they are fools. Little brother, you're the smartest. Let's go. I'll handle the procedure for you. Although the next 10 years of your salary will be mine. Don't worry, I won't mistreat you. If your pockets are tight, just tell me. I'll offer you the cheapest interest. Promised the fatty. Inside, Long Chen paid his respects to every woman in this fatty's family. Not only did he con others, but he was even a loan shark. Once you borrowed money from him. Would you ever be able to pay it within your lifetime? This fatty's guts were quite big. As soon as Long Chen asked, he directly lent Long Chen 2,000 immortal crystals. High-level workers could obtain 100 immortal crystals a month, but this fatty directly lent him 2,000. As for the so-called interest, Long Chen directly said that he trusted the fatty, delighting him. What he didn't know was that the money that Master Long San borrowed was never repaid. The fatty even enthusiastically treated Long Chen, letting him quickly receive the jade plate for the trial. The rest of the time was just waiting for the trial. Three days later, Long Chen finally entered the place where the trial was being taken. When he arrived, he was completely dumbfounded. Each person had a small table with a scroll on it, and there were various questions on the crystal wall. Upon seeing those questions, Long Chen's head buzzed. All his previous confidence evaporated. These questions were about the times of ancient battles, the locations of wars between gods and devils, and amazing figures that had changed the battlefield. Long Chen didn't know the answer to even one of them. These were all things that had happened in the immortal world. So how could he possibly know? 
Cheating. You used spiritual strength to peep at others. Your disqualified a bark rang out, and an examiner picked up a participant like a chicken and tossed him out. Long Chen began to sweat. He had just been planning on using his spiritual strength to stealthily check other people's answers. But someone was caught before him. There were all kinds of exam questions. History. Geography. Music. Forging. Formations. Cultivation. Alchemy. Soul arts. Healing. And dozens of other studies. The ones that made Long Chen feel the most speechless were the ones like divination, carving, and feng shu. He felt like he was going to go crazy. Long Chen ended up handing over blank responses for most of the questions. He was only able to write a bit for cultivation, forging, and formations. But fortunately, he was confident in getting full marks on the alchemy section. Once the examination was over, Long Chen returned to await news. Even as a high-level worker, his range of movement was limited, so he still couldn't enter the true academy. However, Long Chen was already quite satisfied. This path of his was already much faster than others. Those people were still in line. While he had finished the examination, he also had 2,000 immortal crystals. Even high-level workers couldn't enter the academy to buy and sell things, so they could only buy things from the fatty. It went without saying that the fatty would increase the price. However, that was fine. Long Chen directly bought three mortal ascension pills from him to force out his mortal aura. Only once his mortal aura was forced out would the immortal spiritual chi be able to enter his body without impediment. Three mortal ascension pills cost Long Chen all his immortal crystals. So Long Chen borrowed some more from the fatty. In the end, he borrowed from him five times to buy thirteen mortal ascension pills. That forced out less than half of his mortal aura. After that, the fatty refused to lend him any further money. Perhaps he thought that the money that Long Chen owed him would already take 300 years of work to repay. So any further lending would be too dangerous. On this day, the results of the examination were posted. So Long Chen hastily rushed to check the results. Chapter 2807 Pill Institute I failed. Long Chen couldn't find his name on the public announcement. So his heart fell. But after that, his anger rose. Everything else might have been a failure, but the alchemy section had to have been flawless. He then checked and rechecked the list of those who passed but still didn't see his name. Those whose names weren't on the list had failed. He couldn't accept this. The fatty seemed to have long since known this result and laughed. That's enough. A failure is a failure. Go back and get to work. Remember to work hard on repaying your debt. Haha <laughs> hearing this, Long Chen grabbed his throat, his eyes scarlet. Shut the hell up. Another word and I'll strip your life away. This damn fatty actually laughed at his misfortune. Long Chen truly had an urge to kill him. His actions drew countless gazes. It had to be known that when the results were announced, a sea of people would gather. Hence, he naturally drew a great deal of attention. Who is Long Chen? Suddenly, a group of people came over from a distance. Wearing the robes of the people in charge of the examinations, the crowd immediately parted to create a path for them. I'm Long Chen. Long Chen tossed the fatty aside and looked at those examiners. You only got 17 points in total. Of 75 sections, you left 71 blank, said the examiner. The crowd stared in shock at Long Chen. Had this fellow only come to cause trouble? The 75 sections were all worth 10 points in total. For a total of 750 points, 300 points was a passing grade, 500 was outstanding, and 600 was particularly distinguished. There were plenty of outstanding candidates throughout history, but it seemed that there had never been someone to only score 17 points. Had this fellow only come to insult the High Firmament Academy? However, you scored full marks in the alchemy section, according to the Academy's rules. You can undergo a second examination in the Pill Institute. Are you prepared? Asked the examiner. An uproar erupted when he said this. Full marks in alchemy? That was the most difficult exam in the High Firmament Academy. Full marks in this section was unprecedented in the Academy's history. Even distinguished disciples from alchemy families mostly failed this section. For most people, their score in the alchemy section was zero. Since that was the case. This fellow seemed to excel in breaking historical precedents. 
There's nothing to prepare. We can go now. Long Chen kicked the fatty beside him. Damn fatty. Just wait. Once I have time, I'll make you pay for your corruption. Hiding from the top and cheating the bottom of their salaries the examiner coldly said. No need to wait. Someone. Come and arrest him. It's not just one person reporting his corruption. We'll do a proper investigation no. I'm being framed. He owes me money. He's framing me. The fatty was dragged away by two disciples. Howling like a pig being slaughtered. But no one acknowledged him. After that. One of the disciples impatiently hit the back of his head. Knocking him unconscious. He was then dragged away like a dead pig. Under everyone's gazes. Long Chen left with the examiner. Long Chen was surprised to be led to the top of a large mountain where a giant eagle was waiting for them. After that, they stepped onto its back and flew off. Are you curious why we aren't using a transportation formation? Asked the examiner upon seeing Long Chen staring oddly. Long Chen nodded. Considering how big the High Firmament Academy was, transportation formations would be more convenient. Disciples below the Divine Flame Realm are not permitted to use transportation formations because the power of the immortal world will condense when they are activated. Those who haven't ignited their Divine Flame will be crushed by that power. For an ascender like you whose mortal chi has yet to regress, a transportation formation will kill you before it's even activated, explained the examiner. Long Chen didn't expect these IC examiners to actually be so kind as to explain these things to him. The Pill Institute is a particularly special place within the High Firmament Academy. Youngsters, I hope you'll cherish this chance. You should know that countless alchemists want to join us, only to be rejected, said the examiner. I understand. Many thanks for the reminder, said Long Chen. Now he understood that the reason why the examiner was so kind was related to the Pill Institute. It seemed that even in the immortal world, alchemists still possessed a high status. No one was willing to offend an alchemist by treating Long Chen a bit better now, on the off chance that he could really join the Peel Institute. It would be easier for him to ask Long Chen for a favor in the future. They flew on the back of the giant eagle for a full six hours. Long Chen estimated that this academy was probably even bigger than the entire Martial Heaven continent. It was truly exaggerated. At this moment, they finally began to descend to a courtyard. However, while other places were filled with people, this place was empty of a single soul. We've arrived. You can enter yourself. Good luck, said the examiner. The eagle then flew away on its own, while the examiner went into a nearby transportation formation. Pill Institute. Two large characters were carved into the signboard of this building. The lines were strong and bold, rigid, and yet they also possessed a certain grace. Every stroke contained the charm of the Tao. It was as if this simple carving contained the essence of heaven and earth. Without being aware of it, Long Chen became enthralled. He was drawn deep into those two characters Novaloon.com however. The sound of a broom sweeping the ground drew Long Chen out of those two characters. At some point, a skinny old man had appeared up ahead. He was sweeping the path. Only then did Long Chen become aware that he had to report his arrival. He hastily rushed over only to find that this place was too big. The examiner also hadn't told him where to go. Hence, he asked the sweeper, Senior, sorry to bother you, but do you know where to register for the Pill Institute's examination? The elder was completely focused on his sweeping. It seemed that he didn't even notice Long Chen's existence until Long Chen spoke to him. After that, he slowly raised his head and looked at him. When Long Chen saw his face, or more accurately, his eyes. He jumped. Those eyes were filled with lines, like countless runes revolving. It was only once his eyes focused that his pupils appeared. That was a bizarre scene. Fortunately, this elder looked kind so it didn't feel so bad. Senior? I'm not fit for such an address from this young friend. You are all the future pillars of the Pill Institute. While I am just a worker sweeping the floor, you can just call me an old fellow, said the elder. Senior is too humble. May I ask where the exam venue is? I came to report in, and I don't want to hold them up, said Long Chen. Go straight and turn right at the second intersection. Ah, child, is your temper good? Asked the elder suddenly. This sudden question caught him off guard. He said, it's all right. 
The elder nodded and didn't say anything else. He continued sweeping. Long Chen was befuddled by the question. But after saying thanks, he walked into the institute. Chapter 2808 Unable to endure any longer Long Chen followed the path. And it took a long time of walking before he finally reached the registration area. However, when he arrived, two disciples in white robes with a pill furnace's mark on their sleeves were impatiently glaring at him. Why are you so slow? Do you realize that you're over two hours late? Do you not know how to follow any rules? A wave of obscure anger instantly rose within Long Chen. He coldly said, No one told me the time, so how can I be late? You dare to argue. The disciple was infuriated. Try to pressure me any further and I won't just argue. I'll slap that mouth off. If you don't believe me, you can try it. Long Chen's expression sank. What damn academy was this? Was it an academy for idiots? If this was the martial heaven continent, he'd have long since slapped this person to death. Ever since he entered this academy, he had encountered countless nonsensical blockades. Long Chen didn't feel like he had provoked anyone. Yet there were always people throwing themselves at him to get in his way. Could it be that he was doomed to be a magnet for trouble in the immortal world as well? Courting death. The two disciples were immediately infuriated. It had to be known that any newcomers who came here were all proper and respectful. What newcomer dared to speak to them so fearlessly? What is causing so much noise? A stern voice suddenly came from the room behind them. Brat, just wait. I'll put you in your place later. Take this and scram to your class, said that disciple fiercely, tossing Long Chen a tile. Long Chen received the tile and sneered. I'm not a good person. If you're not in a rush to reincarnate, don't provoke me. As Long Chen walked into the classroom, those two disciples were left with dark expressions. They had never encountered such an arrogant newcomer. On the other hand, Long Chen's expression was also not very good. Perhaps he had been too much of a hegemon in the martial heaven continent for too long. And by the end, no one on the continent dared to speak to him like this. Hence. He had a feeling like he had suddenly fallen from a dragon to a dog. There was a stone door covered in runes up ahead. When Long Chen stood in front of it, the tile quivered slightly, and the door slowly opened. He arrived inside a classroom. There were tables with thousands of young disciples sitting at them. When Long Chen arrived, everyone's gazes fell on him. Of course, that included the teacher who was seated on top of a platform. The elder was slim and stiff with very thin lips that curved upward at the corners of his mouth. The elder was the teacher in charge of the newcomers. Although these newcomers had passed the initial exam, they were still not counted as outer disciples of the Pill Institute. They had to go through some further examinations and observations. If their results were satisfactory, they would become outer disciples. You are Long Chen. The elder looked at Long Chen and took out something. He was looking at Long Chen as if verifying something. I am. Long Chen nodded. Behave yourself. It's a yes or no question. Barked the elder. Long Chen almost passed out from anger. Did the immortal world's people have something wrong with their heads? It was just an extra word. Or was this elder intentionally causing trouble for him? The people from the lower world are all unbearably arrogant while being weak. They're the worst to oversee. But since this is the High Firmament Academy and the Pill Institute is the most special institute within the academy. It would be best if all of you were more clever. I don't care if you're from the immortal world or an ascender. Now that you're here, all the luck of your lifetime has been used up. Behave yourself and don't ruin your future prospects. The elder finally retracted his gaze from Long Chen and swept his gaze over everyone, clearly using Long Chen as a teaching tool, an example of what not to do. Flames of rage burned in Long Chen's heart. Could it be that his bad luck was going to continue to plague him in the immortal world as well? Why was it that he always encountered fools? Was this a case of idiots being able to reproduce limitlessly? This class has been waiting two hours for you. Apologize to everyone, demanded the elder. Are you sure your head isn't full of shit? Why is it that the only thing that comes out of your mouth is crap? Long Chen stared at the elder with an inconceivable expression. The other disciples in the room gasped, staring in horror at him. How could he say such a thing? Did he not care about his future? You. The elder furiously leaped up. What you? 
If you use your finger to point at me, I'll break that dog paw of yours. Did your parents not teach you that it's rude to point at others? When I was sent here, not one person told me there was an arranged time. Since no one told me there was a set time, how can I be late? What does you waiting two hours have to do with me? You grew up looking like a dog, and now your mouth spouts dog shit. Cursed Long Chen. His endurance reached its limit. He would rather not join the High Firmament Academy if he had to suffer this bullshit. If this continued, let alone cultivating, he would probably directly die of rage Novaloon.com CMU. You, you're stripped of your qualifications. Get out of here, shouted the elder. Stripped of my qualifications? You were the ones who called me here. Now you think you can tell me to leave as well? What? Do you think I'm a dancing monkey for you? If you want me to leave, then fine. Give me a proper explanation, sneered Long Chen. A reason. You arrived late, disturbed the class, and insulted the teacher. Any of these reasons are enough, shouted the elder. Idiot. No one told me the time. So saying I'm late doesn't hold water. Disturbing the class? You are the one shouting and spouting crap. I'm just arguing for what is right. As for insulting the teacher, do I have to accept being insulted by you just because you're the teacher? You were the one who caused the trouble for no reason, blaming me, and then telling me to apologize for this. I'm not late, so why should I apologize? You were the one who insulted me first, so why can't I fight back? If that truly is the logic of the High Firmament Academy, then have the higher-ups come out and admit that these are the rules. I'll immediately leave if that's the case. Decision makers of the High Firmament Academy, come out and let's have a debate. Long Chen's final sentence was a roar containing his fury and terrifying killing intent. It shook people's ears and was transmitted far and wide. Although this place was the immortal world and his voice couldn't go too far, it was still frightening. Those two disciples outside the classroom who were thinking of how to put Long Chen in his place later almost jumped out of their skin. This person was notified a bit late and was not told a time. He cannot be said to be late. Let the class continue. A voice suddenly rang out in everyone's ears. The elder's expression immediately changed. Chapter 2809 Violently beating a teacher Long Chen's roar had finally drawn the attention of the higher-ups. However, it seemed that the higher-ups of the Pill Institute didn't wish to reveal themselves. They only sent word. However, their word was like an imperial edict. The teacher's expression grew extremely ugly. Take your seat, said the elder coldly. He could no longer stick to the topic of Long Chen being late to make things hard on him, so the elder could only continue the lesson. As a result, Long Chen walked to his seat in front of everyone's shocked gazes. There was only one seat available, so it was easy to find. Amongst the disciples, there were quite a few who cast admiring gazes at Long Chen. He actually dared to curse a teacher while leaving the teacher helpless to retaliate. That courage wasn't something that everyone had. However, there were also those looking down on him, not having a good opinion of his actions. By offending a teacher, he would sooner or later face his retribution. As for the majority of the disciples, they wisely chose to keep their eyes to the front, as if nothing had happened afraid that any reaction or gaze on their part could draw the ire of the teacher. We can start the lesson now. Although you've passed the initial exam, it doesn't mean that you're qualified to study the Pill Dao within the Pill Institute. These classes will allow us to observe how well you learn, and if you can pass, you will be considered outer disciples of the Pill Institute. Thus, this period is extremely important to you. I don't care what status or position you have in the outside world. Your fame doesn't matter here. Here, you are just a student. As a student, you should have a humble, learning attitude, said the elder. He clearly looked at Long Chen when he said this. However, Long Chen didn't even look at him. This high firmament academy had disappointed him at all turns. Hence, he was currently pondering whether or not he should leave this place and find somewhere to roam. Perhaps he could first find a way to search for his parents. The elder's lesson continued, with him lecturing on what it meant to be a student and the proper attitude. It was only after that long lecture that he began to speak of the basics of alchemy. Long Chen almost laughed when he heard this. These basics really were basics. 
This elder even piled in a bunch about the composition and nature of pill flames and pill furnaces. Someone who could pass the exam and come here had to already be an alchemist. It was like someone was telling adults that they had to eat with their mouths, breathe with their noses, don't touch hot metal with their hands. Long Chen, what are you smiling about? shouted the elder. Everyone turned to Long Chen and he was startled. Was his smile really so obvious? It's nothing. I just suddenly thought of something funny, said Long Chen, not bothering to lie. Do you think that I'm talking nonsense? Tell me, what does it mean to refine pills? Questioned the elder. Refining pills is a spiritual process of extracting medicinal essence and merging it with the power of the pill flame, spiritual strength, and the heavenly deos, answered Long Chen casually. Ha ha ha, you don't even know the basics. You really are a frog at the bottom of a well. Who can tell him what it means to refine pills? A student stood and proudly said. Disciple knows. The Tao of alchemy contains all manifestations. It is recorded that an alchemist merges heaven and earth, the ten thousand deos, and the ten planar worlds. Precious medicines must be treated in accordance with five natures. Cold, cool, neutral, warm, and hot. The transformations of the five elements. Metal, wood, water, fire, earth. That person seemed to be reading from a book and spent almost an hour talking, his spittle flying. It went without saying that his ability to recite things that he had memorized was very good. Excellent. You can sit. The elder nodded, looking at him favorably. After that, the disciple glanced at Long Chen mockingly. It seemed he had a natural disdain for Long Chen as an ascender. The elder turned to Long Chen and smiled coldly. I didn't see your exam paper, so I don't know how you got full points, but you don't even have the basics memorized. It seems that even the seniors of the Pill Institute can be negligent. The elder was clearly saying that Long Chen had only gotten full marks on his exam due to carelessness on the part of the examiners. That was how he had muddled his way in. Let me ask you another question. How many techniques are there to change the pill flame? Asked the elder. There are countless kinds said Long Chen expressionlessly. He already knew this elder's goal. HMPH. What a joke. Who can tell him how many kinds there are? Snorted the elder. There are 3,916 kinds. Someone who can control over a hundred kinds can become a teacher. Answered another disciple. Did you hear that? You don't know anything. Yet you still act so arrogant. Who gave you such courage? Sneered the elder. I don't know about courage. But it should be my turn to ask you something. How many precious medicines exist in the whole world? Asked Long Chen. 87,634,361. Answered the elder without any hesitation. Using such a childish question against me. I really am worried about your intelligence. Do you think everyone is as ignorant as you? Quite a few people laughed. It seemed that Long Chen's question truly was ignorant. All of them could easily answer this question. What is this in my hand? Long Chen took out a precious medicine and tossed it to the elder. The elder was confused and then sneered. This is some trash from the lower plane. It cannot enter the records of the immortal world. If you don't know, then you don't know. I said all precious medicines in the whole world, not just the immortal world. You couldn't even understand the question but blurted out some nonsense. Are you sure you even have a brain? The disciples were caught off guard. That truly was the case. Long Chen had said the whole world. That naturally included the immortal world and the mortal world. I come from the lower plane. I am a frog at the bottom of a well. But what about you? How do you know that there aren't greater worlds beyond the immortal world? You mocking me is a pot calling the kettle black. You use your limited learning to judge this limitless world. That is foolish in and of itself. A teacher guides the way into the Tao. How is a narrow-hearted petty little person like you fit to be a teacher? Long Chen stood after finishing talking. What are you doing? Demanded the teacher furiously. The turbid chi in my body is too strong. My five inner organs are circulating, pushing my blood chi down. There is an outer force quickening this circulation. Impurities have gathered and are preparing to break out, said Long Chen, gesturing as he spoke. What are you trying to say? Shouted the teacher. I'm trying to say that I'm going to take a crap, Long Chen said. 
I was trying to emulate your lofty way of talking forever about something. Maybe I didn't do it very well. Sorry for that. Everyone. Goodbye. Long Chen walked out. What kind of garbage place was this? He hadn't learned anything but was almost ready to burst from anger. If this was the case, he would rather find somewhere else to go. The teacher had never seen a student leave of their own accord like this. Hence, his whole body quivered with rage. When Long Chen passed him, he suddenly smashed his palm toward Long Chen. Boom. As a result, the table in front of him appeared in Long Chen's hand and smashed into his head. The immense force caused his head to break out of the three-inch thick table. Long Chen then kicked him in the abdomen, sending him smashing into the wall. His body was embedded in the wall with the table still hanging from his neck. He fell unconscious. After that, Long Chen patted his hands and walked out under everyone's stunned gazes. Chapter 2810-7 Star Elder Quick. Save the teacher. Novaloon.com Those disciples only reacted now and quickly pulled the teacher out of the wall. Suddenly, in the middle of the confusion, two screams rang out from outside. Seeing two figures shot in like cannonballs, the disciples hastily fled out of the way. Those two figures then smashed into the wall, staying there for a while before slowly sliding down. They curled up and groaned in pain. These two were the disciples standing guard at the entrance. Long Chen had given them each a slap on his way out. Seeing this scene, the disciples simply stared at each other, flabbergasted. They had never seen such a vicious character in their lifetime. The most special institute in the High Firmament Academy? Trash. Long Chen's expression was dark with anger. This academy was a complete mess. In the lower world, he had never seen a sect be messed up to this extent. Corruption. Rot. Bullying the weak. Even the teachers looked down their noses at others. Now, Long Chen suspected that the dragon expert was deliberately messing with him to have sent him here. What kind of garbage place was this? He couldn't stay here any longer. While these people were still in chaos, he walked out. However, when he reached the exit, he was dumbfounded. How exactly was he supposed to leave? He had come on a flying mount. The mount had already left and he couldn't use transportation formations. Was he supposed to walk? The High Firmament Academy was enormous. He had seen countless canyons and wild beasts on the flight here. Every step would be filled with danger if he was to walk. The elder at the entrance was still sweeping. So Long Chen went up to him. Senior, may I ask which way I should go to leave the High Firmament Academy? The elder didn't look at Long Chen. While still solemnly sweeping, he replied, Youngster. Why do you want to leave? You should know that the High Firmament Academy is a place that countless people dream of coming to. This garbage place isn't somewhere I want to stay another day in. All I encountered were a bunch of dog-like idiots. If I stay any longer, I'll start killing people. If that happens, I won't be able to leave, said Long Chen, shaking his head. Dog-like? What does that mean? Asked the elder. Ah, it's nothing. In any case. The High Firmament Academy is truly disappointing. I want to leave. Senior, can you tell me the correct path I should take? Long Chen cupped his fists. Although this elder was just sweeping, Long Chen felt an indescribable aura from this elder, making him feel that this elder was not as ordinary as he seemed. That feeling stemmed entirely from the senses of the Nine Star Hegemon body art. However, this time... Even the nine-star hegemon body art was only able to give Long Chen an extremely vague feeling. He was unable to grasp what it meant. No matter what, even if he had misjudged, this elder definitely knew how to leave after being here for so long. Does a correct path exist in this world? If you can't even properly walk the path in front of you, then any path you take will ultimately end up in a dead end, said the elder. Long Chen was startled. This elder's words possessed multiple meanings. It seemed that he was giving him advice. Just at this moment, over ten figures appeared in the sky. These people were able to stand in the sky while in the immortal world. Hence, upon seeing them, Long Chen's heart shook. Brazen brat, you dare to cause chaos in the Pill Institute. Kneel and wait to be executed shouted one of them. Kneel to be executed? Ha ha ha. Long Chen's fury instantly ignited once more. If you want to execute me, then come and try it. Let me see just how many of you, high and mighty fellows,
can live to see tomorrow's sun. Killing intent erupted within Long Chen's eyes. Ever since coming to the High Firmament Academy, he had only met with difficulties every step of the way. Being surrounded by vile characters was unbearable. If these people really did attack him, although he didn't know these people's realms, he was confident that a few of them would perish if he did go all out. Courting death, that person roared furiously. But just as he prepared to attack, the sweeping elder spoke. Youngster shouldn't have such a fiery temper. To sacrifice one's life for a moment of emotion is completely not worth it. Old fellow, just focus on your sweeping, shouted that person. If it wasn't for this elder's age, he might have directly attacked him. The elder sighed and didn't say anything. He continued sweeping. As for Long Chen, to avoid implicating him, he intentionally took a few steps away from the elder. He then looked at the disciples that had just come. The current Long Chen was ready to kill. The rage inside of him still burned, but now that he had entered battle state, it was a quiet rage. His astral energy then began to circulate within him. Although his spiritual Yuan had completely vanished after entering the immortal world, his astral energy was still present. Once he did attack, he would definitely take their lives. This was simply his will. He wasn't actually so vicious and merciless, but his will did not permit him to be insulted like this. It was his bottom line. You dare to resist. Capture him. That disciple curiously dived down from the sky like a falcon, his palm slamming toward Long Chen's chest. His movements were skilled and confident. His immortal chi circulated within him, possessing great power. However, before he could touch Long Chen's chest, Long Chen's hand had struck his face. No one had expected someone whose mortal chi had yet to regress would have the ability to strike back under the pressure of immortal aura. This slap's power directly broke that disciple's neck. He was flung onto the ground, unleashing a wave of dust. His body twitched, but he was unable to move. Everyone who saw this was shocked. Following that shock was anger, and they all charged at Long Chen together. Long Chen's leg swung out, knocking one disciple down. He then grabbed the latter's ankle and used him as a human weapon, swinging him at the others. The others jumped in shock. That person's bones were broken, so he was completely out of it. If they further injured him, it could be fatal. As the law enforcement disciples of the Pill Institute, they were alchemists who weren't skilled in combat. But due to their status, no one dared to resist when they attacked. Of course, today the one that they were attacking was Long Chen. Release him. Those disciples retreated and shouted at Long Chen. A bunch of idiots who have never seen blood before also dares to be so arrogant. You've led far too peaceful lives. Your heads have rotted. Long Chen looked at those disciples disdainfully. As soon as the fighting started, he recognized that these disciples might have a high cultivation base, but their actual fighting capabilities were terrible. This current scene made Long Chen think of how he had first joined the Zhuanshan Monastery back then. The immortal world? It was even worse than the mortal world. There were even more idiots here. Brat, you dare to treat us like this. Just wait. I ah. The disciple hanging in Long Chen's grasp was still able to speak. Long Chen then threw him onto the ground, breaking his shoulders and thighs. However, Long Chen also reconnected his neck instantly allowing that disciple to sense the pain throughout his body. He screamed like a pig being butchered. During this time, more and more people arrived, staring in shock at Long Chen. A newcomer actually dared to torment the law enforcers? Stop. Suddenly, a sharp cry rang out, one filled with majesty, and it shook people's souls. A white-robed middle-aged man with a jade belt around his waist appeared. When that man appeared, everyone hastily bowed. Greetings, Seven Star Elder, Chapter 2811 Once more encountering the jewel blood jade orchid the man looked to be in his forties, and his gaze was sharp. The scars of time had left their mark on his face but only gave him an increased charisma of maturity. In his youth, this middle-aged man was definitely a handsome man. Furthermore, he possessed a noble Tao charm around him. When that man arrived, he saw the disciple under Long Chen's foot and frowned. However, when he looked at Long Chen, he paused for a moment. It seemed that he sensed something about Long Chen. Just as he was about to speak, his gaze swept over the crowd and he spotted the sweeping elder. He instantly vanished from the sky. 
reappearing in front of the elder and bowing. Disciple Hizayu greets senior. I hope I haven't alarmed you. This prestigious seven-star elder was actually bowing to a sweeping elder, stunning everyone. The law enforcement disciples in particular were shaken. They had previously shouted rudely at this elder. Now, their hearts clenched. The elder continued to sweep with his head down. He didn't look at the seven-star elder and lightly said, This old man is just a sweeper. I don't dare to accept seven-star elder's concern. However, after so many years, someone without a good temper has finally appeared in the Pill Institute. It's interesting. Disciple understands. Disciple will handle this matter properly. The seven-star elder once more bowed and turned to Long Chen, as well as the law enforcement disciple. He suddenly waved his hand. After that, Long Chen only felt the space twist, and without any ability to twist, he appeared within a palace. However, the palace was empty of anyone else. It was just him. Long Chen looked around and saw a statue at the front of the palace. The statue was already worn down. Some spots had appeared on it, but when touched, there wasn't even a speck of dust on it. There was an offering table in front of the statue. Two candles the thickness of arms were lit emitting a seven-colored flame that cast the palace in a mysterious light. They're just candles, but their power is many times stronger than my pill flame. Long Chen was amazed inside when he sensed the majestic energy of the lit candles. Everything in the immortal world was unknown to him, filled with mystery. It gave him a feeling of powerlessness. Long Chen was originally someone that stood at the peak of the martial heaven continent, but here, he was buried by countless experts. He didn't even have a chance to stand out. He then walked to the front of the statue, seeing that the table was covered in various fruits. He didn't stand on courtesy. He picked one up and bit into it. Juice immediately burst out of it. It was refreshingly sweet. The juice entered his stomach and transformed into immortal spiritual chi that slowly drove away his mortal energy. It was actually even more effective than the mortal ascension pill. Long Chen tossed the pit into the primal chaos space once he was done with the fruit. It slowly germinated. Nice. The primal chaos space is still effective in the immortal world. Long Chen was originally worried that the primal chaos bead might not be able to allow the immortal world spiritual plants to grow. So he was happy to see this. The number one requirement for cultivation was neither talent nor aptitude nor effort nor willpower. It was resources. Without any resources. Everything else was nonsense. Since the primal chaos bead was still an endless cornucopia for him, his original worries vanished like smoke. With the primal chaos bead, he didn't need to worry about running out of resources. Even if he wasn't in the high firmament academy, he had a way to make money. With one bead, the heavens would fall to him. Just as Long Chen was eating the spiritual fruits without the slightest scruple, two pairs of eyes stared at him from another room. One of them was the Seven Star Elder, Hizayu. The other was a white-robed elder with white hair and a rosy face. The elder watched as Long Chen ate the fruits on the offerings table. His expression was odd. He really is unrestrained. His blood chi is mixed with the dragon race's aura. Moreover, his spiritual strength is a clash of two opposing forces that result in unstable fluctuations. I've never seen such a person refine pills before but I personally checked his exam all his answers merited full marks. However, with that explosive temper, can he really calm down enough to refine pills? When I first saw him, I saw the pill sovereign's divine radiance appear on him, said the seven star elder. The pill sovereign's divine radiance? Are you sure? Asked the elder, shocked. Although it was just a flash, I'm sure. That's why I sent him to the ancestral palace for observation. The Seven Star Elder nodded. Furthermore, the senior cleaning the institute also mentioned him. The elder gasped. That senior was already here when the dean arrived. His seniority is shocking. However, even after so many years, he's never bothered with matters of the academy. For him to mention this person, it must have some deeper meaning. Institute head. What do you think? How should I arrange things? Probed the Seven Star Elder. This elder was the one in charge of the Pill Institute. The High Firmament Academy had multiple institutes, and those in charge of them were addressed as institute heads. As for the head of the overall academy, they were called the dean. There's nothing to arrange. 
Treat him as you would normally. The lower levels of the academy are already filled with rot and decay, almost corrupt to the bone. I've brought this up to the dean multiple times, but he merely brushed me off with a smile. It's incomprehensible. I cannot see through the dean's mind. If this Long Chen has the pill sovereign's divine radiance, then he must have used the pill Dao to corroborate his Dao in the lower plane. Even in the immortal world, his pill sovereign's divine radiance is still able to manifest. That means that his pill Dao can reach limitless heights. Such a genius cannot be pushed out. However, he cannot be indulged, or it would break the rules, said the institute head. Understood. The seven star elder nodded and left. The institute had then stared at Long Chen for a long time alone. He shook his head. Brazen. Coarse. Explosive. Such a person can really use the pill Dao to ascend to the immortal world. Long Chen was still enjoying all the various fruits. As he did, he examined the statue more closely. It looked almost like a melting ice sculpture, and its face was already unclear. Based on the hands and feet, it seemed more like a woman. Suddenly. The fruit in his hand dropped to the ground. He felt like he was struck by lightning. In that statue's hand was a flower. This flower was also part of the carving and not an actual flower. But Long Chen's heart pounded when he saw it. The jewel blood jade orchid. This flower was the jewel blood jade orchid. In his entire life, he had only ever seen one. The instant he saw it, its name and the story related to it automatically appeared in his mind. At that time. He had given it to Yu Kingsuan. When Yu Kingsuan had sacrificed her life for him, it had reappeared. It had then absorbed her blood chi and vanished along with her. Now that he saw it again in the hand of this statue, he instantly thought of her. You recognize this flower? The seven star elder had appeared within the palace at some point. He couldn't help asking when he saw Long Chen staring in shock at the flower. Chapter 2812 New Path Long Chen's body trembled. After he had recovered from his shock, he looked at the Seven Star Elder and nodded. I think that I've seen it before this is the ancestral statue of our Pill Institute. But you ate the offerings to the ancestor. The Seven Star Elder's expression suddenly grew severe. No one told me. You sent me here, and I was hungry. So seeing this food, I thought that you prepared it for me. I only noticed the statue once I finished eating. So you can't blame me. Long Chen shrugged. The Seven Star Elder almost laughed out of anger. Long Chen had clearly seen the statue as soon as he entered and only started eating afterward. He thought that others didn't know? The Seven Star Elder had seen it all clearly. However, he didn't bother exposing Long Chen. After he took out new fruits and arranged them, he knelt and kowtowed three times. After he finished kowtowing, he looked toward Long Chen again. At other sects. Your actions would be considered a grave infraction, and you would be immediately executed. However, at the High Firmament Academy, we don't have such requirements. To kowtow to your ancestors is kowtowing to yourself. Kowtowing to your own reverent heart. With the heart of gratitude, you control your own behavior. Long Chen raised his thumb, praising. Senior's words have deeply touched my heart. Those little brutes outside wouldn't make me want to kill them if they were like this. So far, the Seven Star Elder was the only one who possessed the mannerism of an expert in the immortal world. The rest were trash. The Seven Star Elder wore a smile that wasn't a smile. Does your heart hold reverence and gratitude of course? This life of mine only exists due to countless seniors, brothers, and sisters sacrificing their own lives. I'm very much afraid of dying, so I never go out to provoke others. But if others bully me that would be trampling my dignity, the dignity those people died for. I want to live, and I want to preserve my dignity while doing so. I will not suffer humiliation in silence, living a worthless life of nothingness. I will fight, if I die doing so. So be it, said Long Chen. A useful body doing useless things. The Seven Star Elder shook his head. I disagree with that view. If you endure this kind of humiliation for a long time, your spine will have long since deformed. How will you stand straight in the future? If you kneel for so long, your knees will become glued to the ground. Will you still be able to stand? Aren't those disciples the best example? After being bullied, they hold in so much anger that they simply wait for new disciples to bully in their turn. 
Every generation of disciples raised becomes someone who bullies the weak while bending to the strong. What can you hope for from such people? Asked Long Chen. The seven star elder shook his head. This kind of thinking is due to your vantage point. If you stood at a higher level, perhaps you would understand. Since you ascended, you should understand. You can change yourself. You can change the people around you. But your power is definitely not enough to change the entire world. You can seize a city and collapse the heavens. But no matter how great your power is, you cannot change the fundamental nature of humanity. Well, let's not talk about such things for now. I already know what happened. You weren't in the wrong. But using such extreme methods to counterattack makes you not entirely right. Seeing Long Chen was about to argue, the Seven Star Elder waved his hand. Arguing is meaningless. I'd rather tell you how this matter will be dealt with. Due to both sides bearing responsibility, the consequences will be split. When passing the exam, a newcomer gets a reward, including a pill furnace, pill flame seed, 5,000 immortal crystals if they're all being deducted. I'd rather you not tell me all the rewards I'm not getting, interrupted Long Chen. The Seven Star Elder smiled. In the Pill Institute, even instructors had to treat him respectfully, let alone ordinary disciples. But Long Chen had interrupted him several times, and yet his expression made it so that this elder couldn't get angry with him. It was truly an oddity. These benefits are taken from you due to how you handled things. As for the mortal rank instructor, his self-control is lacking. Since he targeted a disciple in the classroom and attacked first, his position is revoked. He'll only have a chance to prove himself as an instructor after three years. The law enforcement disciples did not carry out their duties according to the rules. So they are also wrong. They are to be imprisoned for 15 days and deducted a month's salary hearing all this. Long Chen finally felt a bit better. It seemed that the Pill Institute still had some redeeming points. They didn't just target him, and the others also ended up punished. It could be considered fair. However, perhaps it was simply because this matter had blown up too big, forcing the Pill Institute to make such a decision. At this stage, it was impossible to downplay and brush this matter off. What about afterward? Am I expelled from the Pill Institute? Asked Long Chen. He was prepared to leave which was why he dared to eat the fruits that were laid out. If he was already getting kicked out, it would be best to grab as many benefits as he could on the way out. In the worst case, at least he would have unlimited fruit to fill his stomach. No. Although this matter was abhorrent, the investigation revealed that the root cause was not entirely your wrong. Thus, we are not expelling you from the Pill Institute. You will remain a probationary disciple and be allowed to attend class. However, because you have no pill flame or pill furnace, it might be a bit awkward when the time comes, said the seven star elder. Ah, so when he was attending class, the instructor would refine pills while lecturing, and everyone would be imitating while he didn't have anything. He would only be able to watch like a fool. That really was awkward. It might be awkward for you this month, but next month you'll get your monthly resources and be able to buy some refining tools in the pill treasure pavilion said the seven star elder. Upon entering the immortal world, the moon and star refining furnace and the demon moon furnace had fallen into slumber. Long Chen didn't dare to use them. After all, they were objects from the mortal world. If used in the immortal world, the impact of the immortal chi might cause them to instantly explode. For now, they couldn't help him, but he wasn't in a rush though. He would need to slowly nourish them somehow so that they could be classified as immortal items. Then they could refine pills for him again. The demon moon furnace. The heaven flipping seal. The moon and star refining furnace. They were all his trustworthy comrades. It was just that his power was too weak right now. He needed to get stronger to awaken them. These are the rules for the academy's disciples. You should familiarize yourself with them so you don't break them in the future. The seven star elder handed a bone tile to Long Chen. After that. Long Chen's spiritual strength entered it, and a flood of information entered his mind. This bone tile was given to him for him to slowly peruse afterward. Normally, the amount of information within was something ordinary disciples required several days to digest. However, Long Chen instantly received it without his expression changing. 
Such a powerful spiritual strength shook the Seven Star Elder. Senior, can I ask you to help me with something? I want to borrow some money, said Long Chen suddenly. Sorry, but if I lent you money, it would be considered secretly supporting you. This discipline would then be meaningless. The Seven Star Elder shook his head. No, you misunderstand. I don't want to borrow money to buy a pill furnace or pill flame. I want to take the test to become an instructor, said Long Chen. He saw a new path in front of him, and it was a bright and open path. Who would want to be a crappy disciple? He wanted to be the instructor and not suffer this nonsense. Chapter 2813 The teacher exams the high firmament academy's size was difficult to imagine. It was only after reading through the introduction that Long Chen learned that it was split into different divisions. There was the God Institute, the Immortal Institute, the Pill Institute, the Forging Institute, the Formation Institute, and many others. When he had taken the exam, all those aspects were part of the exam but the Pill Institute could be considered the most special one because it was practically separate from the rest of the academy. It wasn't bound much by the Academy's rules and even had many unique privileges. One of those was that the Pill Institute's disciples had the right to take the exam to become an instructor at any division. It was just that it was not free. Fortunately, the Seven Star Elder wasn't stingy. Under the condition that it wasn't breaking the rules of the Pill Institute, he lent Long Chen 2000 Immortal Crystals, which was the fee for the examination. There were many ranks of instructors within the academy, as well as countless classifications for what they taught. Long Chen chose to register for the exam to become the God Institute's battle instructor. Long Chen felt that other than refining pills, the area he was most skilled in was fighting. He had plenty of experience in this regard. It could be said that from the day he had started cultivating, he had never stopped fighting. If he wasn't in battle, he was on his way to another battle. When Long Chen reported his arrival, the person overseeing the exam was startled. He was about to curse Long Chen because Long Chen's mortal chi was clearly extremely strong. He was still in the mortal ascension realm. So how could he be an instructor? However, when Long Chen revealed his identity played as a probationary disciple of the Pill Institute, this person forcibly swallowed his curses. A battle instructor has to rely on true skill. It might result in some broken bones, or you might even lose your life. Don't say that I didn't want you, said that person. I know. Thanks for the warning. If it weren't for that person's scorn, Long Chen would be a bit more polite to him. However, he wasn't warning Long Chen kindly but was just trying to scare him off. Long Chen was well aware that killing people was not permitted in this exam so the chance of losing his life was nonsense. Long Chen received the status plate for attending the exam and followed the path. He saw quite a few experts, all of them possessing strong divine energy in their bodies. They were clearly at a higher realm than him. Hence, they were all flabbergasted to see Long Chen, before that shock transformed into contempt. However, someone also raised his thumb to Long Chen. Long Chen was about to thank him when that thumb suddenly dipped down and he sneered at him. Long Chen was infuriated. If they were closer, he'd have definitely slapped that guy. How was it that even the examination to become an instructor resulted in Long Chen encountering this many boneheads? The exam was conducted in batches of 36. Once there were enough people, the next batch would go in. Long Chen advanced with his batch and quickly saw the first part of the exam. It was a black spear around the thickness of an arm. He didn't know what material it was made out of but it gave off an extremely heavy aura. Every person went up to that spear and tried to lift it over their head. It was a very simple exam, almost insultingly so, but these people all had solemn expressions. Rise, the first person roared and the earth trembled. The spear was lifted, but that person's entire body trembled. Moreover, his bones creaked, his face flushed, and veins popped on his forehead. It was at this moment that Long Chen realized that the Black Spear's weight might be absolutely astonishing. That person managed to lift it for a breath's time before putting it down. It was considered a pass. However, after he passed, he was covered in sweat. Lifting it had clearly cost him quite a bit of energy. The next person also found it very taxing but passed. The third person was the man who had previously provoked Long Chen with his thumb. 
His face was a bit long and his chin jutted out. When he arrived in front of the spear, he once more looked back at Long Chen amongst the crowd and sneered. Little Pill Institute child, your peach fuss hasn't even come in, but you dare to come to the God Institute to be an instructor. Take care that your heart isn't broken shut up. If you don't start the test, you'll be kicked out. This is already your third attempt, and you haven't passed yet. This is your final chance, so focus on yourself, barked the examiner. He clearly knew this guy, but seemingly not in a good way. He, I'll definitely pass this time. Just wait. Remember not to shout at me like your superior in the future, the man sneered, seemingly not even placing the examiner in his eyes. With a huff, he steadily picked up the spear and held it above his head, easily passing. He pointed at Long Chen and sneered, Brat, I hate the arrogant trash from the Pill Institute. You should hurry up and scram, or in the final clash, I'll beat you until your mommy doesn't even recognize you. Long Chen couldn't endure it any longer. With blazing killing intent, he stepped toward that person. However, a person behind him held him back. Little brother, don't let your emotions get the best of you. That fellow is someone on the divine rankings. He has a powerful backer behind him. Do you see that he doesn't even care about the examiner? Listen to my advice. The God Institute and the Pill Institute are not friendly. So don't provoke him, or you'll suffer. The big-chinned man laughed arrogantly when he heard this advice. He walked off, vanishing at the end of the channel for the next part of the exam. Many thanks. Long Chen was still full of fury, but he still thanked the person who had held him back since his intentions were kind. However, Long Chen had already noted this big-chinned man in his heart, praying that the so-called final clash he had mentioned would come sooner. At that time, he would show him why flowers were red. Long Chen was near the end of his group, and there were seven people behind him. The people ahead of him finished their exams one by one. Three failed, and surprisingly, they failed one after another. It seemed that one failure caused a blow to the confidence of the ones behind them. The one in front of Long Chen was the fourth one. After seeing the three people in front of him fail, his face was slightly pale, but he still used all his power to raise the spear. In the end, he managed to lift it, but his power wasn't great enough, his base wasn't steady, and he fell backward, causing the black spear to fall toward Long Chen. Careful, the examiner jumped in shock, not expecting this person's mental fortitude to be so lacking. He actually lost control of the spear. If it smashed into someone, it would definitely injure if not kill them. Just as everyone was startled, a steady hand caught the spear, just like that. Long Chen held the spear in the air, leaving everyone speechless. It's not as heavy as I imagined Long Chen weighed the spear in his hand. Although it was heavy, he was more than capable of holding it steadily with a single hand. Did the immortal world's experts not have powerful physical bodies? What astonishing physical strength. You pass. The examiner praised Long Chen and directly led him through. Chapter 2814 Dirty Tricks Behind the Exam Long Chen followed the path and out of nowhere, a strange sound came from the walls. Following that, pellets began to fire. Long Chen agilely dodged, and the pellets landed on the walls, leaving behind white splotches. Long Chen instantly understood that this was a test of reaction speed. The mechanisms didn't contain any killing intent but they did intentionally cause a noise just as they fired in order to reduce the difficulty. Long Chen shook his head. This kind of test was far too childish for him. Although his spiritual yuan was sealed, even without using spiritual strength, just the change in airflow when these pellets shot out was enough to make him easily dodge them. The further he went, the more concentrated the pellets, but they were completely unable to touch him. He then passed through the pellet channel appearing in an exam hall. The examiner stared at Long Chen in shock, looking him up and down. The examiner finally proclaimed, you pass with full marks. The passing grade for this exam was based on how many pellets you were hit by. But Long Chen passed through without a single spot of white. The reason the examiner was shocked was because in this exam, a person's spiritual perception was suppressed, so they could only use the sound to react. Getting hit by eight or fewer pellets was a pass. Hence, the examiner was truly stunned and automatically passed Long Chen with full marks. 
The next exam was actually a wooden puppet, and Long Chen was given a club. As long as the club struck the wooden puppet, its movements would cease. However, he would be entering an area with hundreds of those wooden puppets attacking at once. It was an overwhelming situation for most people who took the exam after that. Long Chen's club danced through the air. As the examiner said, once it struck a puppet, the puppet's movements would come to a stop. The only difficulty was how to avoid getting hit by the wooden puppets in turn. It required not only speed but also sharp perception and the ability to make fast judgments. Long Chen laughed inside. It seemed that the immortal world was far too peaceful. This kind of trial wasn't worth anything to an expert like him who had walked out of countless life and death battles. It was unknown just how many big battles he had fought. He had brushed against death countless times, sharpening his instincts. Even with his spiritual yuan and divine sense suppressed, this trial was too easy for him. Those puppets quickly fell one by one. The only thing that surprised Long Chen was that these puppets were very sensitive. Although Long Chen had come into contact with puppets on the Martial Heaven continent, those were existences powered through formations. Their reactions were not as fast as these puppets, which seemed to possess their own minds. Long Chen easily passed through this section. When he arrived at the end, the next examiner's expression was just as amazed as the previous one. Long Chen had once more passed with full marks. After three trials, he appeared in a hall. This was where all the people who had passed the trials so far were gathered. The big chinned man was also here, astonished to see Long Chen arrive here as well. However, he then smiled sinisterly. He lowered his head and whispered to an examiner. Due to the great distance and his suppressed spiritual strength, Long Chen couldn't hear what he said. But Long Chen knew that he was definitely courting death. For him to be speaking to the examiner like this, they were clearly on the same side. The examiner eyed Long Chen and didn't say anything. This exam quickly started. Of the original 36 people, only 8 managed to reach this point. These eight people were going to face off in four pairs. This was going to be a knockout competition. Four people would be knocked out in the first round and after three rounds, the winner would be decided. The ultimate winner would then be qualified to become the battle instructor. However, the second place in the finals wouldn't necessarily be rejected. They would be viewed as a candidate to become an instructor. If there was a short supply of instructors, they might be promoted. Unfortunately. If there were enough instructors, they would be neglected, and after three months, even those qualifications would be stripped away. They would need to take the exam again. Each person was given a wooden sword that was surprisingly heavy but had special runes on it to soften the blow. They were probably afraid of someone dying. After that, the examiner woodenly read off the rules for the competition. The general meaning was that it was not permitted to take another person's life during the trial. If someone intentionally killed someone, they would be severely punished. He also made clear the difference between first place and second place, encouraging everyone to do their best to win. There were two ways to admit defeat during battle. One was to speak and say that they admitted defeat, while another was to raise both hands. Once this method was used, the examiner would announce the end of the battle. If you were to intentionally injure someone after the examiner had announced that the battle was over, that would be an automatic loss. After a mass of rules were read off, they split up. Long Chen was surprised to see that his opponent wasn't the fellow with the big chin. Long Chen was confused, but the man facing the big chin fellow furiously cursed. What blatant cheating. According to the sequence, I shouldn't be facing him in the first round. What nonsense are you spouting? These matches were determined by drawing lots. If you don't like it, you can withdraw from this competition and wait for the next exam, said the examiner coldly. Drawing lots? How come none of us knew that? You arranged it yourselves just so that I wouldn't enter the finals. You're absolutely shameless. The competition in the God Institute should be above board. But you're just acting like petty, despicable people abusing your positions. You're disgracing the God Institute with your presence. Cursed that person. Long Chen understood now. The two of them must have had previous hostility between them. That meant that this big chin fellow didn't just want first place. But he also wanted to knock out this person so that the latter couldn't even get second. 
He wanted to kick him out in the first round. The Pill Institute is trash. And now the God Institute is also full of corruption. Could it be that I am the only pure one in this world? Long Chen shook his head. This academy was full of chaos. Shut up. You're the one who isn't strong enough. Scram. Or in a bit. I'll beat you up like a dog. Sneered the big chin fellow fearlessly. All right. Just wait. We'll meet again. The man clenched his teeth and directly gave up. He knew that he wasn't a match for the big chin fellow. Only then did the big chin fellow turn his attention to Long Chen. Brat, there's still time for you to scram. Long Chen ignored him and looked at his opponent. The opponent in front of him was covered in cold sweat. His face pale. I admit defeat. This result was surprising to everyone. Furthermore, in the second round, Long Chen's opponent also directly admitted defeat. And the same thing happened to the big chin fellow. Following this, the only fight left was between Long Chen and the Big Chin Fellow. Even the man who had left angrily and the other examiners came to watch. Brat, you used money to buy them, didn't you? He, the Pill Institute's disciples really do have money. Too bad that you can't buy me. I'll knock your teeth out. The Big Chin Fellow smiled sinisterly, stamping on the ground. He charged head on at Long Chen, slashing his sword at Long Chen's head. His divine energy fluctuations surged. Your chin is ugly to me. However, my mood is good. So I'll fix it for you. Long Chen's sword whipped out like a bolt of lightning, knocking his sword aside. It then snaked out, striking his opponent's big chin. After that, the sound of bones breaking raised goosebumps. His chin was smashed apart by Long Chen's sword. Chapter 2815 Beating an examiner It all happened so fast. In just the first clash, the big chin fellow's jaw was broken by Long Chen. The sound of bones breaking made people shiver. With a painful grunt, the big chin fellow tumbled to the ground. His head was dizzy. He had never imagined that a disciple of the Pill Institute would possess such power. Alchemists were similar to soul cultivators, so their physical bodies were their weakest aspect. Because of this, the big chin man had never viewed Long Chen as a real opponent. His view of Long Chen was that he was thin and weak. Hence, he didn't expect to be crushed in the first exchange. Long Chen then walked up to him while he was still befuddled and stamped his foot down twice, breaking that man's hands. His movements were sharp and ruthless. His foot then stamped onto his chest. As a result, the man hacked up blood, trying to struggle. But Long Chen's foot was like a mountain pressing down on him, making him unable to use any power. His face then turned purple as he was like a frog being crushed. He looked like he would explode at any moment. You are ill. Your head is sick. And your jaw is also problematic. Let me help you fix them. Long Chen slapped the big chinned man's broken jaw. And a bone flew out of it. Hence, the big chinned man screamed. And blood gushed out from his mouth. All of a sudden, his chest caved in as his sternum was broken. You're breaking the rules. Capture him. Only now did the examiner recover from his shock. With a furious roar, a teaching assistant's attacked Long Chen with rods. After that, those rods whistled toward him. Scram. Long Chen's shout was thunderous. With a slash of his sword, those eight rods were shattered. But his sword was also broken. The eight of them were then sent flying. Their hands bleeding. They could only stare in shock. Someone who possessed such a dense mortal chi actually possessed such power? It was like a barbarian dragon was hidden within his body. The examiner was also stunned. Long Chen kicked aside his opponent and then walked toward the examiner, causing his expression to change. What what are you doing? He wasn't even done speaking before he was sent flying by a slap from Long Chen. He tumbled into the distance and smashed into the wall before he came to a stop. He then struggled to stand, only to cough up a mouthful of blood and faint. Brother. You've beaten an examiner. This is no small matter. Come with me. I'll find senior apprentice sister King Gaian for you. She will help you, said the man who had been driven away by the big chinned man. Long Chen was about to ask who the senior apprentice sister King Gaian was when a cold snort came from the entrance. Does Mu King Gaian have the guts to do so? A group of people walked in. There were over ten of them. They wore white robes their divine energy fluctuations looking like burning flames around them. Their leader was a lean man with a sharp mouth and monkey cheeks. His face was gaunt, 
and his cheekbones were high, making him look like a monkey in clothes. He walked to the front with his chin raised arrogantly. Careful, this person is an expert on the divine rankings. Whatever they say, ignore it. I trust that senior apprentice sister King Gion will rush over soon as well, whispered that man. That's a bit difficult. Long Chen didn't know why this guy would help him or who this King Gion was, but when it came to ignoring what these people said, that was probably impossible. However, he was growing more interested. These disciples were actually able to so openly and brazenly interfere with the exams, affecting the fairness of the academy. Did the God Institute really not care? Was it already rotten to the bone? You dare to ruin the exam and beat an examiner. Brat, you have gods. I like it. The lean man examined Long Chen and spoke indifferently. Ah, I'd ask you not to disgust me with this act. A human-looking monkey is quite vile to normal humans like me. Long Chen frowned. A snicker rang out from the distance. Long Chen looked over to see another group of white-robed God Institute disciples walking over. Their leader was a woman with a certain charm to her. She was beautiful but also possessed a cold majesty. Just from her looks, she appeared to be a powerful expert. Her expression was a bit off, as if she wanted to laugh but was bitterly enduring it. However, the two women beside her had already lost control. It seemed that they had never heard a similar kind of speaking style as Long Chen. Despite knowing that this wasn't the time to laugh, they couldn't hold back. Meanwhile, the money-like man's eyes blazed with fire. He was actually insulted by a brat who had just joined the academy, and it was in front of so many people. All of a sudden, he extended a hand, his claw reaching for Long Chen's throat. In return, Long Chen's hand slapped across his face, and a palm image struck his chest, sending him flying into the distance. He collapsed. Long Chen and the woman stared at each other in surprise. Long Chen had attacked almost instinctively, striking that man in the face. But the woman's attack had arrived at almost the same time. She had clearly done it to save him Novaloon.com Meanwhile, the woman was shocked due to knowing just how shameless and vicious that skinny monkey man was. He had no qualms about attacking weaker people. So she had been prepared to interfere the instant he struck. However, Long Chen had somehow struck him first despite being attacked first. Furthermore, the power of his palm was so great that even without her attack, that monkey man wouldn't be able to injure him. Also, his attack had come completely naturally, like a flowing stream. Amazing her, she walked up to Long Chen. What a beautiful technique. With your mortal aura, you must be an ascender. For you to have such a technique, you must have been an overlord in your lower world. Ah. I apologize. Let me introduce myself. I am Mu Kingian. I still don't know your name. Long Chen was about to answer when a sneer rang out. The mighty Mu Kingian is actually lowering herself to a newcomer? Do you not have any confidence in the next competition for the rankings? How vile and laughable. Chapter 2816 Killing another group of people came walking over. The one at the front was a handsome man of a fair complexion. While holding a white paper fan in his hand, he swaggered over like a young lord. Regretfully, any air of nobility was broken by his smile, which looked like he needed a spanking. Long Chen didn't know how many people like this that he had killed. On the Martial Heaven continent, such people were originally present in plague proportions, but he had slaughtered them until they almost became a protected species. However, this species once more appeared in the High Firmament Academy in epidemic numbers. Would he need to start a new slaughter just like in the Martial Heaven continent? Mu Qingyan's side glared darkly at this man. One of them shouted, Zhang Changsheng, as the third ranking expert, you actually randomly say such slanderous words? You don't live up to your reputation as an expert. This Zhang Changsheng's aura was extremely powerful. Based on the divine energy fluctuations he gave off, Long Chen judged that he was around the same level as Mu Qingyan. While Mu Qingyan's people were filled with expressions of righteous indignation, Mu Qingyan herself didn't react much at all. Slander? The rank 2 Mu Qingyan actually lowered herself to run here to pull over a newcomer. Doesn't this prove you're already targeting outside experts? Have you lost confidence in the Divine Rankings competition? Zhang Changsheng snapped his fan shut and walked over. 
Someone immediately took out a chair that he then sat on. Long Chen shook his head and sighed. He couldn't help recalling a certain memory from the Zhuangshan Monastery, when they had been challenged by another monastery's disciples. Guo Ran had worked with him to set up a similar display. So many years had passed since then in no time at all. He was no longer that tender youth. So this person's actions appeared incredibly childish to him. Just how many years had it been since he had messed around with such a play? You're the one being so despicable that you actually interfered in this exam. He is nothing more than a surprise. If we still didn't hit back after you've repeatedly provoked us, we'd be beaten black and blue by you, wouldn't we? Raged that woman. Her anger showed that the conflict between the two sides was not a matter of just one or two days noveloon.com at the same time. Long Chen understood that the Big Chin fellow had been targeting one of Mu King Gion's people, making him fail so that he couldn't even get second place. This Zhang Changsheng had to be the real instigator behind this matter. It seemed that Mu King Gion had finally lost patience and was preparing to fight back this time. But then Long Chen appeared. However, what Long Chen didn't know was that amongst the examiners for this exam, while some belonged to Zhang Changsheng's side, some also belonged to Mu Qingyan. Mu Qingyan had received word that not only was the other side cheating to harm her people, but an astonishing figure had appeared, passing through the exams with full marks. Mu Qingyan had then rushed over to help her side and also see whether she could pull Long Chen to her side. However, she had arrived one step too late. Long Chen had already knocked his opponent down, which meant that she had failed to arrive at the critical time to help him, not managing to make him owe her a favor. Despite that, helping Long Chen handle the aftermath could also give him a good impression and pull him to her side. Thus, she and Zhang Changshen were fighting. The only thing that Long Chen found curious was that despite this clearly being an official examination, no one from the actual core of the God Institute's management came. How was it that when two gangs of disciples appeared, no one came to control things? The God Institute's management was even worse than the Pill Institute's. Zhang Changsheng slowly fanned himself as he sat in the chair, ignoring that woman's words. He looked at Long Chen. Little fellow, I'll give you two paths. Either kowtow and apologize to our people, or join us. Mu Qingyan frowned. The other side had also received information which was why they had rushed over so quickly. They were also planning on pulling in Long Chen. However, she then sneered, while the woman beside her grew anxious. Half their goal in coming here was Long Chen. If he was pulled away by Zhang Changsheng, that would be a giant humiliation for them. Before she could speak, Mu Qingyan raised her hand, telling her to be quiet. She was ranked two on the divine rankings. She had seen and experienced countless people. Hence, she instantly saw through Long Chen's character and knew what his reply would be. As she expected, Long Chen said, Thank you for giving me two options. Zhang Changsheng smiled, thinking that Long Chen was submitting since he thanked him. He was about to praise his intelligence when Long Chen continued. However, I can only give you one suggestion. You should change your name. From the mortal world to the immortal world, I've encountered quite a few people called Changsheng. However, they never lived long lives. Instead, they died after messing around. Your name isn't auspicious. You. Zhang Changsheng's face turned dark. This sudden turn knocked his pleased smile off of his face. The woman beside Mu Qingyan could barely contain her mirth at this response. She covered her mouth with both hands, but her shoulders quivered. Mu Qingyan and the others also found it funny. Long Chen looked completely serious when he said this. As a result, Zhang Changsheng's fury soared even more at this silent laughter. Kill him. As soon as he spoke, a dark-faced fellow behind him immediately charged out, his hand reaching toward Long Chen's head. His fingers were like iron claws, and he was as quick as lightning. Vicious. This person was a true expert. At this moment, a sharp light flickered over his fingernails. If a head was grasped by this hand, it would surely be crushed by this killing move. Upon seeing this, Mu Qingyan's expression completely changed. She hadn't expected this person to dare to launch a killing move. If he did kill Long Chen, she would also be slightly implicated. By the time she reacted, she was too late. Even as she moved, 
that person already arrived in front of Long Chen. Hence, she prayed that Long Chen could block this attack. If he was only injured, she could save him. However, just as she moved, before her palm touched that person, his body suddenly turned stiff. A sword had stabbed through his left eye and out the back of his head. He was already dead. As for the sword, it was in Long Chen's hand. For a moment, everyone was deathly silent. Chapter 2817 Public Courtroom Long Chen's movements were too quick for them to even track with their eyes. They only saw a sword pierce that person's head and kill him. Mu Qingyan's attempt to rush over ended up meaningless. The battle had ended before it even started. Blood slowly dripped down that sword. Just as it was about to touch Long Chen's hand, he let go of the sword. Without anything holding it up, the corpse fell to the ground with a plonk. The sound wasn't loud, but it shook people's hearts like a hammer. That was an expert ranked 97th on the Divine Rankings. He was called the Iron Claw Soul Snatcher, a former rogue cultivator who had built up quite a reputation for himself before joining the High Firmament Academy. This person was a vicious, ruthless killer. When he attacked, his opponents were always killed or crippled. Due to his viciousness, he was highly viewed by Zhang Changsheng. He was someone who only took orders from Zhang Changsheng. When Zhang Changsheng had told someone to kill Long Chen, he had attacked without hesitation. Regretfully, when it came to killing people, Long Chen was the true master. If they were competing in martial arts, perhaps Long Chen would require some effort to knock him down. But if Long Chen wanted to kill him, it was as easy as raising his hand. Everyone was dumbfounded, especially those two women beside Mu Qingyan. Their smiles were completely frozen. Long Chen had given them a sunshiny, unbending kind of impression. He was like a proud man who would rather break than bend, but with his seemingly weak appearance, they also formed an urge to protect him. However, no one had expected him to kill his opponent in a single move. Most stunning of all was his expression after killing. Although the two women were also cultivators, they had not experienced much killing. They had seen others kill, but those people always sneered or acted arrogant after killing their opponents. That arrogance was to cover up their nervousness inside. However, Long Chen's expression was flat, without the slightest fluctuation. It was as if he had just done something completely insignificant. That coldness made them shiver. At this moment, another sword appeared in Long Chen's hand, and he walked toward Zhang Changsheng, his face still icy. Upon seeing this, Zhang Changsheng's heart thumped, and his hair stood on end. He felt like a monster had just set its sights on him. A feeling of mortal danger welled up within him, causing him to jump out of his chair and retreat a few steps. However, after a few steps, his expression became ugly. He was an expert in the divine flame realm. Was he actually afraid of a rookie in the mortal transcendence realm? In front of everyone, he had been scared away by Long Chen. As all his face was lost, his embarrassment transformed into anger. Courting death, Zhang Changsheng howled and his divine energy erupted. With him as the core, the disciples around him were blasted away. This Qi wave blew back Long Chen's hair, flapping his robes. All of a sudden, Long Chen frowned and looked at his robes. He paused, seeing him stop. Zhang Changsheng thought that Long Chen was scared by his power, and he stepped forward, smashing a fist at him. Boom. Just at that moment, a palm image blocked his fist unleashing a shockwave that made the entire palace shake. Mu Qingyan had taken action. She forced back Zhang Changsheng and then appeared in front of Long Chen. Although her aura seemed to be on the same level as her opponents, when they fought, the difference was instantly made obvious. Zhang Changsheng, you are too shameless. You are bullying someone with such dense mortal chi? To be on the same ranking as you is an insult to me, said Mu Qingyan coldly. At the same time, Mu Qingyan sighed with relief. She had finally managed to help Long Chen. Although she didn't know why Long Chen would suddenly pause like that, it just so happened that this was the best time for her to take action. Zhang Changsheng was forced back several steps, feeling shocked and enraged. He had previously fought against Mu Qingyan a few months ago, but now he found that her divine flame had been purified even more, reaching an almost essence-like level. Although he always lost against her, 
He always managed to fight 20 or 30 exchanges before being defeated. However, today, he found that the difference between them had widened. His blood was flipping inside of him, and he didn't dare to open his mouth at the moment, for fear of coughing up blood. Why aren't you speaking? Have you realized that you were in the wrong now? You can't even find a way to retort. Isn't that right? Shouted one of the women beside Mu Qingyan. You. Zhang Changsheng was infuriated, but that one word caused his blood to surge up. He hastily clamped his mouth shut. What you? Your Prime Glory Alliance suppressed all newcomers and other competition when you were dominating. What? Are others not allowed to mention all the terrible things you've done? Sneered the woman. Her mouth was quite sharp. Zhang Changsheng clenched his teeth and had to wait until his blood stabilized before speaking. Hence, his face was ashen. Almost frighteningly so. As for the people beside him, they didn't know what was going on with him, but they didn't dare to interject themselves into this matter. Zhang Changsheng was a very domineering person. If someone interrupted him, it was considered a sin. So none of his people spoke up. Suddenly, footsteps rang out and countless disciples in blue robes came rushing in. They had wooden rods in their hands. In just a moment, hundreds of them had surrounded this place. No need to worry. These are law enforcement disciples. We just have to follow the process, explained Mu Qingyan quietly to the surprised Long Chen. Mu Qingyan was very familiar with the God Institute's rules. These disciples had gotten used to their fighting, so they almost seemed bored with what they were doing. Everyone, come along. The head disciple didn't make things hard on them. He spoke woodenly. These disciples were clearly afraid of Zhang Changsheng and Mu Qingyan's status, so they didn't dare to be rude. In this aspect, they were far better than the Pill Institute's law enforcement disciples. Everyone was brought along, and Long Chen was surprised to be brought into a courtroom. However, Mu Qingyan and the others seemed relaxed, as if this was routine for them. They were completely indifferent as they followed the process. The sharp-tongued woman even said a few comforting words to Long Chen, telling him not to be afraid. This matter was provoked by the other side, so the majority of the blame would fall on them. However, just as she was comforting him, everyone fell silent. An ancient and skinny elder had walked in. Upon seeing that elder, Mu Qingyan and the others, who were originally filled with confidence, became dumbfounded. How can it be him? Now it's troublesome. Mu Qingyan's expression twitched. What? Is this old fellow your enemy? Asked Long Chen. Who is Long Chen? Stand up. Just at this moment, the ancient elder slammed his gavel and shouted. Who are you? Is the name Long Chen something that you can shout? Long Chen's lazy voice echoed through the courtroom, dumbfounding everyone. Even Mu Qingyan and the others stared at him in shock as though he was a madman. Chapter 2818 Long Chen's confidence This response from Long Chen stunned everyone. However, Zhang Changsheng and the others were delighted to hear such a thing. In their eyes, Long Chen was definitely dead now, and there was no need for them to even add anything. Long Chen, Mu Qingyan hastily pulled on Long Chen. This elder before them was fond of physical discipline. He was a stubborn old man who could not be offended. That was even more the case today. For him to appear today was thought provoking. It was very likely that he had come to nitpick, and Long Chen had thrown himself at him. Ignorant junior, you are looking down on the court. Someone, bring him away. The elder waved his hand. Some law enforcement disciples immediately stepped forward. You are not qualified to give a ruling to the Pill Institute's disciples said Long Chen indifferently. Nonsense. Let alone a little probationary disciple. Even a formal disciple of the Pill Institute would have to obediently submit to my ruling here. Bring him away and give him fifty lashes of the rod, proclaimed the elder. This is not your business. Don't come over if you don't want to die, said Long Chen coldly and his killing intent filled the room. As a result, all the experts in the room involuntarily shivered. The disciples stepping forward instantly froze in place, not daring to move. They smelled death. What they were facing was not a disciple of the Pill Institute but a devil who murdered without batting an eye. Long Chen stepped forward, going through everyone toward the elder. Hence, the elder stared at him in astonishment. 
He had never seen someone with such terrifying killing intent. Little fellow, you. The elder was also frozen in fear. He didn't even get to finish speaking before he was slapped in the face by Long Chen. He spun back. What the disciples' eyes almost popped out. Long Chen dared to beat this elder? Was he mad? The elder wasn't even on guard. And stars spun in his eyes. He felt the world spinning around him. He almost fainted. Suddenly, he let out a furious cry and divine energy exploded out of his body. Divine flames burned around him. However, those divine flames had just appeared before they were extinguished by a stamp of the foot. After that, the tip of a sword was less than half an inch from his eyes. Long Chen held the other end of the sword. Don't think that your higher cultivation base protects you. A coward who has never entered the battlefield in their entire life can be killed easily by me. Long Chen had already seen that despite the higher cultivation bases of these people, the High Firmament Academy so called experts were nothing more than greenhouse flowers without any true ability. You, you brazen brat. Do you know Long Chen slapped him before he was done speaking? After that, the elder was furious and about to attack back when pain stabbed through his eyelid. Long Chen had pierced his sword through his eyelid. Hence, blood began to flow and the elder instantly froze. Are you a pig? I wasn't done speaking. Who let you talk? Asked Long Chen. The elder felt a mix of shock and anger, thinking that this youth in front of him was a devil. His powerful cultivation base was completely suppressed by Long Chen, and his life was in Long Chen's hands. Furthermore, Long Chen's icy expression terrified him. He had no doubt that Long Chen really would kill him. To Long Chen, killing people could be done without hesitation. I told you that you weren't qualified to judge me. Take a good look at this status plate of mine. If your eyes aren't blind, you should see that it says full marks. Such a status plate has only appeared twice throughout the entire history of the Pill Institute. Those were incidents that occurred 13,000 years ago. As for mine, this is the third. This status plate was personally given to me by Seven Star Elder Hizayu. Due to beating an instructor in the Pill Institute, I was deducted some benefits. Senior Hizayu then lent me some money, telling me to take the test to become an instructor so I can make up for those lost benefits. But I didn't expect that your God Institute would be hiding such corruption. Just a minor instructor exam had blatant cheating with collusion on all sides. It's completely lawless. Then there were even people who launched killing blows against me. As for you, you old bastard. You didn't even give me any chance to show you this status of mine before trying to give me corporal punishment? Tell me, do you want to die? Snorted Long Chen. Long Chen's words resounded throughout the court, leaving people dumbfounded. They looked at Long Chen's status plate. They all understood what this meant. He had passed the exam with full marks. If that occurred in a different institute, it wouldn't be so shocking. Although it was rare, there were always a few such occurrences every year. However, when it came to the Pill Institute, they couldn't recall anyone managing to pass with full marks in many years. Upon hearing Long Chen's explanation, everyone's hearts shook. It seemed that Long Chen possessed quite a powerful background. He beat up an instructor and only had some benefits taken away. The Seven Star Elder had personally helped him, telling him to become an instructor here in the God Institute? Just how big were his connections? Long Chen's words were half true and half false. It was true that this status plate was special. He had learned that from the disciple ruler book that he had been given. The Seven Star Elder had not mentioned it to him. He was aware that this was the third time such a status plate had appeared. His position was definitely not ordinary. As for why the Seven Star Elder hadn't told him, Long Chen guessed it was to not make him arrogant. The Pill Institute was the most special place in the High Firmament Academy and could be considered the core of the Academy. After all, the pills that the disciples needed for cultivation were all provided by the Pill Institute. Hence, just by showing off his status plate and making a connection between him and the Seven Star Elder, he became clothed in tiger clothes. He couldn't be touched. Within the rule of book he had been given, there was an introduction to the Pill Institute's positions. The position of the Seven Star Elder was a bit lower than an institute head, but only by a bit. It was a position with extremely high authority. Of course, the reason he beat this elder was precisely to cause a bigger fuss. 
Only by causing a bigger fuss could he pull in more benefits for himself. The elder's expression was extremely ugly at this moment. He had been in the academy for many years and was profoundly aware of how difficult it was to deal with the Pill Institute. Furthermore, for Long Chen to be such a rare genius, only the third to pass their exam with full marks, his status was completely different than an ordinary disciple. The elder truly was not qualified to directly punish Long Chen. He would have to leave it to the Pill Institute to handle him. Just like that, he was slapped twice for nothing. Only after stating his case did Long Chen retract his sword. He then looked at the elder's expression and knew that his plan had worked. I will report this to the Pill Institute's department. I strongly condemn your crude behavior. Just wait. The elder gloomily crawled up, waved his sleeve, and left. The law enforcement disciples also left with him along with Zhang Changsheng and the others. As he passed by Long Chen, he eyed him. Just like that. Long Chen slapped him in the face. What are you looking at? Chapter 2819 Don't provoke me just as everyone thought that things were over. Zhang Changsheng was slapped in the face by Long Chen due to him staring too much. After ascending to the immortal world, all of Long Chen's abilities were suppressed, and only his divine face slapping art was still as precise and refined as ever. He had a 100% hit rate here in the immortal world. Zhang Changsheng was caught off guard and was thrown to the ground by the slap. Stars spun in his vision. The people beside him were shocked. Long Chen was truly arrogant. Not even looking at him was all right for him. They then took out their weapons. But even once their weapons were out, they didn't dare to attack. That was because Long Chen's sword was already pointed at Zhang Changsheng's head. They didn't even see Long Chen's movements clearly as it was too fast. His sword was already pointed at Zhang Changsheng before any of them could do anything. What do you want? Zhang Changsheng was startled and enraged. He had never expected to provoke such a vicious character this time. He had thought that he was picking up a cat, only for that cat to become a mighty tiger in an instant, and it was definitely a murderous tiger. I don't want anything. I'm just warning you not to provoke me. In the lower world, I killed countless people. My path was covered in mountains of corpses and seas of blood. I didn't ascend to the immortal world to waste time with idiots like you. My time is very precious. By wasting my time, you are harming me. Anyone who harms me is my enemy, and my enemies don't have good endings, let alone long lives. Long Chen patted Zhang Changsheng with the flat side of his sword. I hope that you'll remember the words I'm saying today. If you do, it might save your life. After saying that, Long Chen put away his sword. Zhang Changsheng then finally stood up, and he glared at Long Chen. Sharp light in his eyes. His divine energy fluctuation slowly rose. The current Long Chen was standing right in front of him, and his sword was already pulled back. He was no threat. Now was the best time to attack him. As for Long Chen's sword, it was nothing more than mortal metal, other than if it struck the eyes or the glabella. It wouldn't be able to harm the body fatally. He was still hesitating about whether or not he should attack and take Long Chen's life. After all, Long Chen had attacked him first. Even if he killed Long Chen, he would have justification. Long Chen stared at Zhang Changsheng indifferently, ignoring his divine energy fluctuations. Long Chen said, Of course, you can view what I just said as bragging. If you don't believe me, you can try it but I will just warn you that you shouldn't. If you do, that's the end of everything. Zhang Changsheng stared at Long Chen gloomily, filled with hesitation. Long Chen was clearly someone with extremely dense mortal chi within him. Such a person was barely acceptable by the High Firmament Academy's standards. Normally, he would be able to kill a mass of such people with a single palm. But facing Long Chen, he was completely shaken and didn't dare to attack. We'll see what happens in the future. Zhang Changsheng then clenched his teeth and left with his people, deciding not to attack in the end. Wow, you look pretty weak, but you're actually amazing, said the woman beside Mu Qingyan. Zhang Ling, don't be rude. Mu Qingyan frowned. That Zhang Ling stuck out her tongue but apologized. Sorry, I'm just happy to see Zhang Changsheng look like he ate dog poop. Long Chen, don't mind me. When Mu Qingyan had introduced herself and asked Long Chen for his name, that had just been a polite formality. 
They had all known Long Chen's name before because it was written in the registration for the exam. Long Chen looked at this woman. Her smiling face looked truly innocent, and everything she thought was written on her face. He smiled. Of course, I should be thanking you. Brother Long is too courteous. I'm ashamed to say it, but we were only forced to fight back because the other side forced us to the point of no return. It just so happened that your matter made this fight much more straightforward. We didn't really help you, said Mu Qingyan. I'm still grateful. As an ascender, I have no friends or family in the immortal world. I appreciate your care. Long Chen cupped his fists to them. Although they hadn't managed to help him with anything, just the intention was enough. Big brother Long Chen, you're too polite. You have the seven star elder as a backer. Although it might not be enough to say that you can run rampant in the academy. There are definitely only a few people who would dare to offend you, said the other woman beside Mu Qingyan. The others also looked at him admiringly. It was no wonder Long Chen dared to act like this when he had the support of the Seven Star Elder. Let me introduce you. These two are my sisters, Zhang Ling and Zhang Xiu, said Mu Qingyan. What pretty names, said Long Chen with a smile. He, big brother Long Chen really knows how to talk. Zhang Ling laughed. Her happiness was written clearly on her face. There wasn't the slightest plot or scheme behind her face. Not even the reserved veil of a woman. They have the same parents. But they grew up looking quite different. Said Mu Qingyan. Growing more comfortable with Long Chen. He seemed like a different person now. And the atmosphere became friendly. Long Chen was surprised to hear that. The two of them didn't look alike at all. However. He didn't express it. Big brother Long started Zhang Ling. If you want to call me big brother, you can call me third brother. Back where I came from, I was used to being called third brother Long San, said Long Chen. Haha, <laughs> okay, third brother, you really are amazing. Your cultivation base is so weak he, sorry, I'm used to being straightforward, but you really are amazing. Teach me how to fight. If I can get half as amazing as you. That vile Zhang Changshen won't be able to bully us any longer, said Zhang Ling expectantly. Her eyes shone with worship. In her understanding of the world, to defeat a powerful opponent required a higher cultivation base that suppressed the opponent. However, Long Chen had such a weak cultivation base but was so terrifying. Crushing experts of the divine rankings and even slapping the discipline elder in the divine flame realm, that toppled her understanding of cultivation. That's right, you'll be an instructor in the future, so we can attend your classes. We'll definitely study hard, said Zhang Xiu as well. Third brother Long, you seem much more skilled than the other instructors. They just teach us some theories that aren't really useful in real battle. The other disciples beside Mu Qingyan were also excited. It seemed that they wanted to attend Long Chen's class right away. However, according to the academy's rules, they could only attend lessons from official teachers, and Long Chen was not officially given that position yet. Who is Long Chen? Just at this moment, a thunderous voice rang out and a group of people walked in. When they saw the person at the front, Mu Qingyan and the others jumped in shock and then hastily bowed. Greetings, Divine Lightning Elder. Chapter 2820 Divine Lightning Elder The arrival of the Divine Lightning Elder made every disciple stiffen including Mu Qingyan. This group of people didn't just possess terrifying auras, but there was also the strong stench of blood. Long Chen was also surprised. Ever since he had ascended to the immortal world, this was the first group of real experts he encountered. Experts that had truly killed their way out of the battlefield. Their leader was a tall and muscular middle-aged man. His face was rough, and his eyes were like copper bells. Moreover, his full beard still had some blood in it. It seemed that they had just returned from a battlefield. His gaze instantly fell on Long Chen. His eyes widened. Good brat. What a dense blood chi. Oh. And you also have thunder force in your body? Ha ha ha. Good. Good. The divine lightning elder's gaze was electric. Seemingly having seen through Long Chen. His expression hadn't looked so good when he entered the room. But his attitude completely transformed when he saw Long Chen. Little fellow, I have just returned when someone told me that the Pill Institute was intentionally causing trouble to humiliate our God Institute. When I get back, 
I'll definitely break that person's legs and stick them up his butt. Cursed the Divine Lightning Elder. Although Long Chen didn't quite understand what was happening or what kind of rank this Divine Lightning Elder possessed, he estimated that it was not inferior to the Seven Star Elder. Someone had clearly tried to create a conflict between him and Long Chen. Moreover, this Divine Lightning Elder did not look like someone with a good temper. As soon as he received such a report, he would go find trouble for Long Chen, and the real target was most likely the Pill Institute. However, as soon as he saw Long Chen, he lost any faith in that person's words. The thunder force flowing within Long Chen's body essentially told him what kind of character Long Chen had. Furthermore, Long Chen could also sense a wild lightning power within the Divine Lightning Elder's body. Then looking at his face, Long Chen sensed the pride and arrogance within his bones. This Divine Lightning Elder was the only true lightning cultivator that Long Chen had met in his lifetime. With both of them possessing such a rare element, they instantly formed a connection. Those who cultivated wild lightning were all direct and frank. Whatever issues they had, they would face them head on and not stab people in the back. Hence, the instant he saw Long Chen, the Divine Lightning Elder knew that he had been lied to. He saw that Long Chen was not the kind of person to intentionally pick a quarrel. Furthermore, in all his years in the academy, he had only encountered a few people with the same character as him. The moment he saw that Long Chen was a lightning cultivator, he felt joy like he wished the two had met earlier. This junior is Long Chen. Greetings, Divine Lightning Elder. Long Chen cupped his fists. What junior? We're all men. Don't get sucked into those useless, convoluted formalities. I am Lai Xiao. You can call me Big Brother Lai Xiao in the future. Haha. <laughs> After so many years, I finally encountered someone to my liking. Once your cultivation base is higher, join me on the battlefield. That's where men should be. Lai Xiao patted Long Chen on the shoulder. Sparks flashed where his hand touched Long Chen's shoulder. That was a resonance between their thunder force. Junior brother Long Chen greets big brother Lai Xiao. Long Chen was also pleasantly surprised to see such a figure in the academy. Thus, hope once more ignited within him for the high firmament academy. Ha ha ha. Good. Junior brother, I came this time to replenish my supplies. So I'm going to leave soon. It might be a while before I return. So properly cultivate during this time. I hope that the next time we meet, your mortal chi will have been expelled and you will have ignited your divine flame. At that time, your big brother will give you wine to celebrate. Lai Xiao was delighted to see Long Chen react without any bashfulness or timidity or fawning. Big brother, don't worry. I will properly cultivate. Or wouldn't that be a loss to big brother's face? Said Long Chen confidently. Ha <laughs> ha. Good. That's the drive that you need. Until next time, Lai Xiao patted Long Chen's shoulder and left. He was in a rush and didn't waste any further time. At this moment, Mu King Ian stared at Long Chen in amazement. Zhang Ling excitedly said, Third brother, you really are about to soar. Do you know who the Divine Lightning Elder is? The two of you call each other brother. I really don't know who he is, said Long Chen. Heaven, Earth, Wind, Lightning. They are the four strongest elders within the sub-institutes of the God Institute. They are our four great pillars. Even within the entire academy, they are all giant figures. With the care of the Divine Lightning Elder, your future path will definitely be smooth and easy, exclaimed Zhang Ling. Long Chen shook his head. That's not going to happen. What you don't understand his character. If I borrow his power to open a back door for myself, he'll look down on me. The only reason he recognizes me as brother is because we have the same character. As for me, I have my own dignity as well. I use my own power to win what I have. In this world, it is not possible to always rely on others. Parents grow old, and mountains collapse. Relying on yourself is the most reliable choice. To cultivate is to create a path through mountains. To build a bridge over water. Cultivation is not necessarily just about reaching a certain height before gaining anything. The process is even more important than the result sometimes. Just at this moment, clapping sounds rang out, and a kind-looking old elder walked in, seemingly praising Long Chen's words just now. Marvelous. Truly marvelous. At such a young age, 
you not only possess such great combat power but can also say such deep words. It truly is rare. The elder nodded in praise. Heaven Master Yan Yang, why have you come? Mu Qingyan and the others were startled. They hastily bowed worshipfully. Mu Qingyan quickly gave Long Chen an introduction. Long Chen, this is our God Institute's Heaven Master, Yan Yang. He is the highest level teacher in our God Institute and the one with the most learning. Ah, I wouldn't dare to accept such praise. There is no end to learning. Child, you're going to give me a big head. Heaven Master Yan Yang laughed. He was like a kind elder, and he didn't seem to possess any of the arrogance that a Heaven Master would possess. Junior greets Heaven Master. I hope to get pointers from Senior in the future, said Long Chen. I couldn't. I teach philosophies on the Tao. While you are skilled in battle, you already possess a rare insight into life. If you have time, I would like to learn from you. Heaven Master Yan Yang smiled at Long Chen so humbly that Long Chen felt a bit embarrassed. I came here specifically to give you your new status plate. Little brother, congratulations on passing the teacher exam you've become a battle instructor. The official ceremony will take place three days from now. So don't forget to participate Heaven Master Yan Yang handed a new status plate to Long Chen. Long Chen, Mu Qingyan and the others were startled. It had passed through so quickly? Was that because of the Pill Institute or perhaps the Divine Lightning Elder?